episode seven titled Life After Soldierism and Greg Martin. Rest in peace. Uh, but more on that later. And uh, all right, a little moment of pause while we get officially started and Obi-Wan uh, rings us in. Like never before, have you seen the likes of two geeks that just love to talk? Welcome back, everyone, to Horseplay, Episode 7, right here, right now. My name is Obi-1X2. Obi right here is your host, my cohort, which is right, I think I got it right this time, that way, Yogi Zilla. You guys can hit us up throughout the show. Just want to get this out. I'm the one doing it wrong, but I'm just going to... That's how I feel, I guess. You guys can hit us up throughout the show. Our Twitters are right below us. Um, right here at LB1X2. Over there, right at, at YogiZilla. Title of the show today, as you guys did here in the little pre-cap, Life After Soldierism. We do want to give Soldier um, best wishes. On what he does, he is he is he did get a job, which is awesome for him and his family. And he he's doing his thing as a man, as a man, you know, man time. Yogi, he's got man time. He's got man <laughs> sauce. I mean, man, man, man sauce. time, man time, man time, man time. Sorry. It's like mad sauce. What are you doing? As you guys can see, the the overlay that we are on today, um, there's a little plane. I kind of had to whip it up at the last second, um, so I'm not really that good at them. So I do want to say this right off the bat: we are looking for an artist um, to make overlays for us throughout the year and through you know little special stuff that we like to do. So if you guys know anybody, anybody knows anybody, let us know. Let me know at ob one x two on Twitter and or Yogi at Yogizilla on Twitter as well. Bam! T. Curtis <laughs> Jr., what's going on, man? Hey. Yeah, that's, that's, shout out to Tim. He's he's from uh, he's one of my peeps over at All Games, where I've been uh, kind of heckling and uh, joining a lot of their shows over there. They're good people. That's awesome. Tim man. is. Uh, I think Tim also is their like the director of social media or community manager type thing. He's been moving on up in the world. He's really cool. He's a good guy. Moving on up. Boom, boom. Okay, sorry. Wrong I like time of day. That's so why I said wrong time of day because it's like on at like 8 o'clock in the morning where I'm at. Right <laughs> With my cable, yeah, whole, it's like 8 a.m. And I'm like, man, and do I want to get up there? Oh. Like they have the little video, the like camera overhead, the sky view, right? Yeah. Of all the buildings. <laughs> yeah. And then during the day, true, true. You know what's up. Only us old folks are like getting nostalgic about that crap. Well, he 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 uh, he um he he said that he's a social media manager, so whatever you said was wrong. I was in the ballpark. <laughs> he's he's in the general area of what's going on. Community manager, social media manager, just play on words. I mean, this is stuff I do too. So I got big 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 respect. I actually almost uh, talked to Derek H over at All Games about doing that for them, but I don't think Derek likes me. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. We weren't supposed to tell you that yet. <laughs> it just seems like you don't 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 do it, Obi. Don't do it. Don't do it. Obi Yogi, I'm gonna change it up and you're probably gonna slap me afterwards uh virtually. Oh. You gonna throw me a curveball? I am. Curveball time. What do we have for this show? And I know you're 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 not excited about this show. Um but it is a step forward in the direct listen you're not listening you got to hear me out it is okay. a step forward in what we're Jeez. what we're trying to accomplish as horseplay um what you know obi-1x2 and yogi zilla we're trying to do together to make something for ourselves but what's going on this episode i mean we got some exciting news yes but we but first we, you we're know, not we, getting the news yet little, but yeah a little, little bit of sadness because you know life after soldierism mm -hmm. And Greg Martin, we'll get into that. But you know, we'll miss Soldier. But I, you know, I think in general, 
to do the, a, a show of this format, it's easier to stay on 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 track and and stay within the parameters. I mean, we're pretty raw, but at the same time, we want to have some kind of structure here. Right. Otherwise, we'll never get the show done. <laughs> ever. It, but, won't, you know, it won't ever happen just because we're just like, yeah, whatever. We'll get it done later. We'll talk about everything, like you know how to peel potatoes right. properly. But uh, <laughs> you know, soldier's not here, and uh, it's a little easier to do a two man sh- uh, two man uh, show. And I, I, from a lot of the podcasters I, I keep up with, a lot of video people I keep up with, it's a lot easier when you have a dollar between two people. When you have a round table, it's great. A round table discussion is great, but only when you have a very specific topic. Otherwise, like you'll have a whole agenda, and you maybe you touch upon one or two points of it. Okay. But uh, we got a lot of good stuff lined up. We got a lot of good stuff lined up. Uh, I don't know. Well, what do we want to talk about before? Are we going to jump into the news? Or let's talk about it. Let's talk about stuff outside of, of outside of games and, and video games. We video games and news. We can do. We we need to do that every now and then. Well, um, I'll go first just because I'm ready for this because I knew you were going to ask me this question. So how'd you, how'd you know? I, I didn't I, even put it in the show notes. I'm reading your mind, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of my brain. No, um, but um, it's what I've been doing lately, and I know it's I've been trying to get on Twitter more, um, just because like when I when I said, hey guys, I can't wait for I'm going to bowling alley, you like retweet it like right away, and I'm like that was cool. Um, I don't play games when it comes to Twitter, <laughs> but I'm I'm trying to be able to you know get on Twitter a little bit more and actually kind of um, mix in with with. I don't want to say the little people because they're not, but mix in with everybody that follows and, and that oh, follows midgets, everybody. Right? Huh? You said not little people, but, but that does apply if they're midgets. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to say that. You're just, some... you're mean, dude. <laughs> so right. what I'm, Sorry. I'm asking you right now is, and then we're going to just go into this. So what if there was a little person right now watching and you said midget and he's like, you know what? Fuck you. Yogi? I, I love midgets. <laughs> you didn't, did you say that again? I knew, the correct I knew term did. is little people. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to be political, politically correct, but I watch Little People Big World, and that's what they say every time. <laughs> it's not midget. It's not shorty, munchkin, whatever. It's little person. That's it. Hey, that that's what you want to be called? Then that's what you can be called. Uh, sure, I'll call you. If you want to be called asshole, I'll call you asshole. That's fine. Or taint. Taint's a good one. <laughs> I think grunt better though. I think. But anyway, there's a there's a good site for that. If you want to get into the real history of little people, I think it's mm-hmm. Weird New Jersey. I think it's I think it's still up, and they have a little little, little person town. That be you know, if you're curious, they have a little person town over there with just little people. Mm-hmm. And I, there might be some Smurfs. All right, I go heard, ahead. Wait, you're going. I'm sorry. I have heard I'm of that. Totally derailed, they might be I'm some totally derailed you. Dude, you just went in again, man. Oh my god. All right. This is not me, guys. All right. By the way, Freeman Daddy, uh Freeman Daddy, uh he's another one of uh my my collaborators. He wanted me to give a, a peace sign. I don't know if he wants me to do it like anime style. Yatta! You know. <laughs> he wanted me to do a peace sign on on the stream. So. Well, okay, I'm sorry. go ahead. Go ahead. And you do it, man. Peace out, man. Peace. You know, I'll give this peace right here, you know. Anyway, but what we're going to do, guys, is um you just made me lose all train of thought. I was on. I was ready to go. I was like, I knew the next section that we were going to, and now I'm lost. Yogi, it was Soldier before he left. Now it's you. This is. Do we need to have a conversation, sir? <laughs> Don't vote me off the island. I, I bring lots to the table. I, I crack coconuts. I'm not gonna vote anybody off anywhere. But I'm. Come on, man. You can't do this to me. So you and Soldier had a conversation before our, the day he left, right? And he's like, hey, you know what, really, screw with Obi. Just because he's, he can get off so track so easy. He can be talking about the subject and all of a sudden go, what were we talking about again? Yeah, that's me, everybody. I'm the mindless <laughs> troll. We might have to change our podcast to the old man's club. Dude, I would fit right in. Dude, and I'm going to say something to it, okay? Over the last couple of weeks, when we go bowling, we usually try to go out to eat. Um, we drop off our kid, um, which everybody knows. I have a two and a half year old, and he's my world. We drop him off the grandma's, and then we go out to eat. Well, the last couple of weeks, and I hope she's watching right now. I hope you're watching. She goes, "Well, why don't we go out to um, where was it? Ryan's? No. Oh, you can eat place? Yeah." 
Golden Corral? No. CC's? No. Russ's. Hmm? It's a it's a northern it's a northern restaurant. It's called Russ's. Okay, it's like um. Um, it's like Golden Corral, but not as buffet -y. Okay. Um, but anyway, it's it's a really good in in town here. There's like two or three of them. And well, all the old people go there. Okay, like like hundreds of old people. Well, I'm like, man, I said, baby, I leaned over to her and I said, I see old people everywhere. And she goes, without a doubt, without a wait, she goes, I, I thought you would fit in here, baby. And you know me, oh, Yogi. I'm not, I'm not old, but I, I got an old body. And for her to just snap just like that and say, well, I thought you would fit in. Are you serious? Aww. I mean, it was the best, shortest comeback that I've ever heard in my life. And it was so funny. And the only thing I could do, <laughs> I couldn't be mad at her. She dissed the shit out of me, but I couldn't be mad at her. It was funny. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I look forward to the time when I can actually get like a senior discount at a place to eat. You're I mean, right. if, it's, if it's free food or cheap food. I, I won't get mad. <laughs> you ain't lying. Well, I actually, um, on the other note, I did get, um, you know, I've been trying for my 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 disability, my license plate, um, and I'm going to get a tag now, which is uh, really, really helpful. Um, what about you, man? What have you done this last week um, outside of the gaming world? I know you got a family, and I know you run your balls off for them. What have you done? Oh man, what I start? Uh, let it's me like, see. what haven't I done? <laughs> so, I've been. Uh, I had a, a few interesting projects come in. Uh, one of them, I can't get too into it because you know the whole NDA thing. But uh, a guy's building um, a sort of rapid deployment tool for people that want to build websites but don't want to have to hire a, a, per, a webmaster to maintain it for all the little things. So basically. It's going to be a CMS based on WordPress, make it easier to build websites. And mm -hmm. and um, it's also going to use um, Amazon AWS to serve images faster. That's about all I can say. That's kind of a project I've been uh, consulting on. I don't, he kind of wants me on there full time. I don't know if I commit to that because I got so much on the plate. But uh, that's a cool project. And then I've been working on the stuff for us, uh, doing some uh, illustrations, some cartooning stuff. Uh, get a podcast cover for us, some logos. You know, branding and all that good stuff. Um, but also catch it up with Tony Ray, which we've been trying to get on the show. And we're Zombie time. <laughs> it's hilarious. But uh, I got a good dude. I got a good. I got an overlay already made for that. I'm sorry for bugging you. I have an overlay for when he's on the show. I have a yeah. zombie overlay. Well, he said he's ready to join as soon as he's really stoked about it. Episode eight. He's ready to go as soon as episode eight. But I said, well, let's let's give ourselves enough time to like catch up on The Walking Dead and and whatever other zombie content there are. Play some zombie games and then really have a lot to talk about, so it's fresh in our mind. And actually, what I would like to do as well is also maybe in, involve um, some folks from, from some other horror podcasts and, and shows and whatnot out there. Uh, Freeman Daddy's one of them. He has the Zombie Cast. Maybe um, have a show of nothing but guests. Maybe do the yeah, news. Have, maybe do some well, news. He'll be, main, he'll be the main event, and then we can have some call-ins and whatnot, and and definitely. really make it a big thing and make definitely. it as a whole zombie theme. We will. So, but that's yeah. gonna be really focused, so we don't derail. But I, yeah, so that's that, and um, yeah, not, not too much gaming. A lot, a lot of work, a lot of brainstorming, trying to plan our next moves. Mm -hmm. We're trying to. I'm trying to plug us everywhere we go. I've been doing a lot of networking with the all games people. I might be doing some writing for them. Um, I might be writing for a magazine that's actually in print. Maybe I'm gonna see what's going on with that. I got I've been reaching out to some um, like traditional journalist contacts, so I've been I've been busy, dude. Whoops. But other than that, as far as the family goes, uh, you know, just regular shenanigans in our household, uh, in the Yogi household, <laughs> and dealing with our crazy puppies that they had a really bad issue. Are you a dog, a dog, a cat guy, bro? I'm a dog guy. Screw a cat. I can throw them. Okay. If I could, if I could punt a cat, as far as I could shoot a sniper <laughs> rifle, I would be happy. I, cause I would just sit out there all day long. 
and just do it. See, I'm one of those weird people. I like all animals. I, I like cats too, but I, I, I love birds. Dogs. Birds are awesome too. Except for when they're really like squawky. Then again, he goes throw like a, a blanket over their cage and they'll shut up. That's the great thing about birds. The moment they get dark, it's like instant mute button. But anyway, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we got two puppies. And, you know, puppies, what they tend, a lot of people don't realize, but a lot of puppies tend to have worms. It's a common thing. Because right. they get through their mother's milk or they sniff something on the ground like, and they get eggs inside of them. And it's gross. You know, fleas, if they bite fleas, fleas carry worms. You know, all that nasty stuff. And people get grossed out. And my wife was getting all grossed out about it. And I was like, look, it's really easy. There's natural solutions. You can use garlic. You can use turmeric. There's a lot of uh, beets, mm -hmm. uh, yogurt. All these things you can use that are natural and will actually help the dig digestion and break down those worms. You know, the natural, you don't have to pay for like $200 for a vet to tell you what you already know. <laughs> you know? Exactly, yeah. And um, I'm going to hit you off right there, soldier. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? <laughs> I, just saw, I just saw that too. That, that distracted me. How are you doing? Um, it is not the same without you. Um, but again, hey, you're dealing with your family and you're 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 zoning. You'll be back, I guarantee it. Because oh, we're yeah. we're either gonna move the damn day of the show or we're gonna make sure it's a different time to where you can play. Because well, yeah, we need our soldier geek. I might have to get a, a formal announcement. This is an informal announcement, but I think we should reschedule because one of my favorite podcasts coincides with ours and it overlaps and i know a lot of people in all games community they're like oh i totally support your show but oh the other show is on at the same time like mm. darn you like they're right. just finishing when we're starting out because they tend to go over like they finish at 11 but that 11 means is a rough is a rough thing they might finish at midnight or one in the morning or right something. <laughs> well i mean you gotta think about it if 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 and i'm saying this to everybody that's watching or that will be watching in the future if it's going to be beneficial for uh, for me and you and maybe even Soldier, um, but if it's going to be beneficial for our, our – our, I want to just say fans, but to watch us on a different night so we can watch other podcasts, I'm game. I just – we need to make sure that we have the same night. And we might just say, hey, you know, we might do a straw poll and say, hey, viewers, when we have enough viewers, we say, what night do you guys want to see us on? But that or, might have to be in the future. Well, you know, I keep throwing the all games name out there. And I, I, I think that there's a good chance that we mm -hmm. might syndicate with them. Uh, as just one of the many networks that we'll put horseplay on. Because, you know, as a marketer, you want to get your content out of many, to many people as of possible. Course. And that's great community. You know, it's like tightly knit and they're really awesome people. And um, I'm sure there's a, a void, a slot we could fit in there. So if we could kill two birds in one stone and get Soldier on, back on. You know, I make it easy for other guests to join us because 11 p.m. is a little brutal for most people. Um, well, what I yeah, want to do is, what I want to do in the future is basically just have the show, and we have it at like, um, like seven o'clock at night or eight o'clock at night or nine, just not so late. Because if we have it at nine, we go to 11 or 10, and we just have it on a different night or something like that. That means if we do go till midnight. It's cool. It doesn't really bother because that's when most people are trying to go to bed. We're just halfway down with our show by then, so it's whatever. <laughs> like I said, man, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're gonna have fun today. Um, we'll deal about that, you know, here in the future. If it's gonna work out for us and everybody else, then we'll do it. We'll see what happens, though. <laughs> anyway, but what the? All right, I have a question for you, Yogi. Already. You just asked me a question. Oh, I got enough. Dude, I got millions, millions of questions. Because if, if I don't ask you, keep asking you questions, then I go, what were we talking about again? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then there's awkward silence. And then, and then, and then you go, what question was I going to ask you? No, it's not. You know what? I think we should just go. We've done some record i can't even talk today let's get into the news okay <laughs> get some news mean, going oops. do you mean the obligatory news i see that too you put that you did it because i fucked up the name last time <laughs> yes i spelled it out phonetically we are gonna go right into the news and wow man we have a lot of news today have you been just like finding things to put on here? He just goes to a web page and says, "Ooh, that's good. Copy paste three pages. Copy paste. Well, oh, we got a whole bunch of shit." <laughs> well, it's crazy. It's a combination of supporting other uh, 
content marketers, mm-hmm. and then like I, I've gotten some press releases and stuff here and there, and I'm like, oh, okay. Which that's another thing we need to talk about is uh, getting ourselves in some more uh, some more lists so we get the the news first, be on the cutting edge. But yeah, mm, there's so much definitely. stuff going on right now because um, a lot of well, a lot of people don't realize is that for most gaming companies, their fiscal year ends in March. Mm-hmm. Like it does end in like December or whatever. It's, well, a, it's not by calendar years. Right. Well, there's a lot of companies that actually end in like October-ish or so. I know the military, um, their fiscal year is October 31st, is basically their December 31st. Um, and then they start, no, actually they start fresh October 1st. You know what? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> so anyway, news, news update. Oh, y- Yogi, what do you got for us? Hey, real quick, Freeman Daddy wants to know what kind of mic you have. I think he likes the sound quality. <laughs> um, I have a Apex 415. Um, it is right about $115. Um, and then I got the, the uh, everything came with it, and I bought a mic stand. But, um, yes, I will actually show you. Right here. <laughs> Product placement. Yes. Apex, uh, whoever makes that, make yeah. sure you send us uh, some, uh, some money. Affiliate fee yeah. dollars there. <laughs> so basically, no, they don't have to send us any money. We just want, I want mics. <laughs> Give me mics. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, I mean, there's, I'm, I'm still tweaking it. Like I don't, I need to set up the other side to where, um, I can set up some really good headphones to where they can actually hear, somebody can listen and, and, and monitor my voice because sometimes they get really loud and sometimes they get really quiet um so i don't want to you know make sure everybody can hear me but yeah thanks for the uh the uh kick out for real yeah 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 freeman daddy's awesome man we're gonna i see a lot of good things in the future because i i'm one of those people that feels like i don't know you feel the same way for the most part will be uh you know competition is a thing people put in their mind if we collaborate Mm -hmm. we can share a bigger pie you know exactly why hold on to one little slice you can have the whole pie shared together let's make a bigger pie I think my chat's right. messing up. Hmm. The chat, your chat, yeah. Twitch does that, dude. Because I don't that's... see freedoms. I don't see freedoms post. Oh, that I'm in another chat. <laughs> I'm doing dual front chat. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I am gonna put this out here, and this is something that we're gonna get back to the news here in a second. But this is gonna be beneficial for everybody. If you have the computer to do it, I mean, you you can't have a piece of junk. If you have a decent computer, you can go to um, type in Google and go to multitwitch.com. You go to multitwitch.com, it's going to ask you, um, do you want to add Twitch accounts? You can add, then add Yogizilla, and then you can add Obi-Wan X2. The, both of the chats will be there, so then you can actually type in both chats. If we have more than one person um, or more than one chat like we like we do, um, but then you guys can then talk to both of us at the same time. Is that where the chat was on your Twitch? They're actually on uh, All Games Chat on IRC. Okay, so then I just little, need to shut community. the hell up. You know, whatever. No, no, no. <laughs> I use my Twitch, my Twitch to send everybody to you. Got to tell them, look, you want the low budget version? Like if you're on mobile. Then you go on Yogizilla, but if you want the full production, you go over to Obi One X Two, and then you get the pimpness, and you get the little bit of nipple action, and whatever. You know, Wait, I never said nothing about showing no damn nipples. I don't know what I, you're I, talking about. You I need top, to stop top, telling people that top, I'm gonna do I things. Top of the clothes. I top of the clothes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> news. <laughs> We've been Looking trying to, to do news for 20 minutes. It's so, yours. <laughs> it's your news. <laughs> Our obligatory news. So yeah, we're a little late on this, but uh, the long-awaited uh, update to Soul Forge is out, and I'm pretty happy about this because I love TCGs. I love st- <laughs> stop playing with your ar- mic arm over there, Mister. You just keep doing the news. I'm not gonna even look at your video because you're trying to you're trying to throw me off. You I, I'm actually not. I'm trying to adjust my mic. <laughs> He's playing with his mic. You know what that means, kids. I'm, I'm playing with That's my just... boom. <laughs> boom. Sonic boom. Sonic boom. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, version 4.0 is out. And it's kind of a big deal because um, you know, I, I, you know me, Obi. I love the strategy games, and 
they need so far mm-hmm. needed this game to keep up with Hearthstone and Scrolls and all the other big players in TCG space. You know, Magic, of course. But uh, Version 4.0 brings draft mode and tournaments, which they dire they were in dire need of. And I haven't gotten a chance to play with it as much, but I'm playing more now that they've tweaked a lot of the things, especially on the iPad um, app side. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they don't have the Android app yet, but you can play Soul Forge for free on Steam and um, iOS devices, and it's a great TCG. It's got some really unique uh, mechanics. Like one of the things that really that always blows my mind about it is that your your hand is different every turn. So the way you look at each hand is completely different than any other any other game because you say, well, which of these which two of these car five cards I have are the best plays this turn mm. because I'm gonna lose the rest of them uh, until the deck cycles, you know, and it really puts you in a whole different mindset. But anyway, moving on with the news, we'll talk about Soul Forge more at a later point. We'll come back to that. Trust me. Well, and and re- real quick, one thing, right? Real quick is. Um, some more news that just came about if you guys are part of Blizzard um, and you guys were constantly saying, oh, I want the beta key, I want the beta key, I want... Th-. Uh, there's an open beta now. My wife, um, I've already been, you know, I've already been threatened, basically. I'm going to whoop your ass kind of thing. Um, so I had, you know, I had to bounce back. But Hearthstone is free now. You can b- download it and play it. It is in the open beta. So get to Blizzard now and go download Hearthstone because it is free. And I will play you guys. I don't care. We'll play you guys right here on the show just to g- say, hey, Obi's number one here. Yogi Zilla might have something to say about that in the future. But anyway, that's another piece of news that you guys can go check out and get that Hearthstone because it is free now. It's open beta so everybody can play. Thanks, free Freeman Daddy. Appreciate that. Wait, wait, say, wait, say. Um, uh, evolution oh, of the apocalypse. The evolution of the apocalypse might be stopping uh, by, and that we sound great. Um, Sean, zombiecast.net, guys. We are going to let him do this uh, just because uh, we, we, we support other podcasters. Uh, is the show, and if you guys want to check that out, just go to ahead, zombiecast.net, and it's Knuckleballer Radio. Timmy! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm just reading. I'm actually, I'm actually just reading the chat, guys. So it's it's nothing that I, <laughs> it's not scripted at all. <laughs> but yeah, and um, and the fact that uh, Yogi rocks, Yogi, you rock, brother. Word. So yeah, actually, I, I didn't, I was not aware about the Hearthstone going to open beta. That was that was like two months delayed, two or three months delayed, because it, they it, were talking for the longest about how they expanded the server capacity, mm-hmm. and they were still. Um, enabling people to get into the closed beta and all of a sudden it's like, oh, we're opening indoors now. So that's kind of cool. Well, I guess we'll have to do some community play dates on that. We will definitely, man. We will get on. Um, be watching for some uh, some news guys and Twitter uh, from both of us. Uh, and we'll, um, if you're on my Twitter, if you guys are following us on Twitter, we will make sure that you have our team speak. We do have a team speak for call-ins and for, for guests and for... Um, for for the subscribers in the future so um but i'm lost i just hit it again why is my page just deleted holy crap <laughs> all right while well, you start out through the technical issues there it is continuing with the news <laughs> go ahead this man. actually uh thanks to some some of the people in all games uh chat again mm-hmm. they're, they're good people they have put me on to this i almost missed this one but game industry.biz reports that Capcom currently only has only 152 million in the bank. Now, they describe this as chump change for any major third-party developer or publisher. But, you know, you know, the way I see it, let's let's face it. Um, Capcom releases have been stagnant for a while. Mm-hmm. They kind of killed off Mega Man. They've ostracized themselves for all all the big players they had on their team in-house. And well, they that's not that's still a good amount of money. In this in this in this landscape, if you have that kind of money, you're in good shape as long as you know how to use social media and crowdsourcing and all that stuff. So right. they need to they need to change their strategy because if not, a lot of people are saying, Oh, this is THQ all over again. Capcom gonna go sell off their IPs and, and then they're gonna just you know um It's gonna go to the dogs. Do, like, I, <laughs> the, it's just gonna go to the dogs. <laughs> they still got 
just you know it's a shame you know I always get sad with this kind of stuff because whether you like a publisher or developer's stuff, you know the less content there is out there, the less people creating that content, the less competition there is, the less variety we have. It's bad for the consumer ultimately. Well, of whether course, you like but... that that source at all at all or not. It's bad for the consumer too when you sit there and let the oil companies charge you an arm and a leg for gas, but they let them do it. So it really doesn't matter. Back to the news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just okay, getting we off got topic. Into that. I don't even know. We got into that in our last episode, the geek rage against the machine. Yeah. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. If you want to check out here's our a, Here's a question from you. Industry. Right. Here's a question for I know. Um, guys, we're going to save our questions for right now. We're going to get through the news real quick because we can ask questions and answer them all day long. Well, um, as soon as the news is done, we'll open up the floor to get, to get some questions going because uh, – we do. I do love questions from the chat too. So we are sacking those up. But um, go ahead, Yog. Yeah, I think yeah, we got a, still got a lot more news. <laughs> so I, I, this is the last thing about that. I think Nintendo, Activision, Microsoft, maybe Sega. They they'd be wise to jump on those franchises if Capcom does go under. This is my last few thoughts on that. So speaking of Sega, see my segue there. I see what I did there. Oh, oh yeah. Watermelon. Watermelon Games, probably never heard of them, right? They have announced that they that they are releasing a game called Project Y. And g- guess what system it's coming out for? Mm, Se- Steam OS. No, Sega Genesis. Se- they're bringing it back out? <laughs> well, they already did. Have you seen, like, in Walmarts and, like, CVSs, like, most random places, actually? I think, like, CVS, Rite Aid, all those places, they have, like the re-release Sega consoles, and mm-hmm. apparently some of the smaller developers are making games for them. Which is interesting, because cartridges are usually a little more complicated to release for, but they're doing it. But this is what's even more interesting about it. Not only is it releasing for Sega Genesis in late March, I think around March 25th or something like that, and someone just tweeted me, but I'll get to that afterward. Maybe, <laughs> one, maybe one of our fans. But, uh, no, it was me. <laughs> what Was it you, you bastard? Stop distracting me. So Project Y, check this out. When I looked at it, it looks like Streets of Rage. You played that one? Huh? Nah, yeah, no, no, I haven't. No. Streets oh, you nodded your head. You tricked me. But it looks like Streets of Rage or any kind of beat 'em up, like Final Fight or Teenage, mm-hmm. Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But it's set like in a post-apocalyptic world. It's got, I think it's got like four-player co-op. Uh, this is a very visceral experience that you can share with friends. And Watermelon Game says that this will be a 40 megabit card, so it's going to be big for a 16-bit game. Four, four playable characters, which I mentioned already. Various factions and classes you could play. And RPG mechanics thrown into the mix of the action. That'd so, be nice. That might be, yeah. that might be decent. I, I, I'm, you know what? And like you say, um, you know, it depends on how much it is, too, if we're going to try it. Um, a lot of things that I that I'll do, especially with games and everything, that especially uh, you know fans and whatnot, they say, "Hey, try this, Obi. I'll try it once." I mean, I'm not gonna spend sixty dollars on a game that I know nothing about. Oh yeah, they're not, they're not gonna charge anywhere near that. This this, is, this will probably be like a ten twenty dollar release at, at most. Um, right. Now, be that, and most of that will go just to recuperating the cost of using the cartridge, unless they find some other way to distribute it. I'm not too sure about the detail of that, but um. Yeah, that 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 comes to us thanks to uh, Sega Nerds uh, podcast. Yeah, and I and I'm a, I'm still a Sega fan at heart, so I'm, I always hope deep down inside that they kind of bounce back and do some really big things. And see the old school b- come back. What do you do? You got two headphones? What the hell? I'm actually I got a, I, I recorded a couple questions um, on my phone that I wanted to make sure that we asked about because we're gonna ready to talk about Nintendo. So uh, go ahead, just keep going. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> But you know, I I do that for the people that don't get to watch the wonderful video and and, and see our ugly mugs. You know, when they listen to an audio only podcast, they know what's going on in the moment. Oh, well, exactly. Especially if I start giggling like a little schoolgirl. But uh, so yeah, Sega Sega Nerds also confirmed, and I almost missed this, that uh, Greg Martin has recently passed away. And I think this is really tragic for the gaming industry because um, a lot of people don't know th- this name. I was aware of his work, but didn't know him by name for a long time. And he apparently has done a lot of a lot more box art and illustrated illustration work for instruction manuals, something that we barely see nowadays. And um, you know, he helped really 
I would say he helped Sega really make big waves in the um, North American market. And just overall, uh, he helped him. He helped Sega break into a lot more markets because, you know, especially in those days, you know, and you probably remember this too. You you mm-hmm. go to stores when when these when these software stores, these hobby stores, and electronic stores, you know. Electronic boutique before or Funko Land or stuff before it all it all became GameStop. You go into yeah. the store, you, you know what I mean. But you you'd go into the store and it'd be walls and walls of beautiful artwork. And a lot of times, I won't lie, I pick the game based on the artwork on on the box. I'm like, this looks intriguing. And then I look in the back it of does. it. It does. And then I I look at some screenshots and it, the screenshots are always convince you because you know it's like I don't know what's going on there. Whatever. But then you look at the marketing copy, and it's like, hmm. But some, a lot of times, you just look at that cover, and if the cover really told you a story at first glance, you're sold. You don't even care anymore. You don't need to look at anything else. And uh, Greg Martin was great about that, especially with, one of his most famous pieces was uh, the Sonic 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 uh, box art. And uh, you know, it's kind of sad to see him go. Uh, I'm going to probably butch- butcher his name like I always do, but Nato Oshima, uh, the creator of the original Sonic the Hedgehog series, so, uh, admitted that he never met Greg, but he knows his work, and uh, he he feels that, that that's going to be a great loss for the community. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he was very—I was very surprised. He was very honest in this interview he had with Sega Nerds, talking about Greg Martin's work and how a lot of times these artists, um, there's a lot of people, especially back in those days, that were uncredited. You know, they they just they just exist in a, a void and uh, never become known. Sad, but you know, rest in peace. You know, try not to be funny here. I'm probably bringing down the whole the whole mojo, but uh, people should look into Greg Martin, look at some of his works, and be aware that there's uh, a lot more out there to in, in the video game industry than just coding a game. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's, box art's a big thing, and you know what? And it also makes me sad because. There's a big push for digital content, right? And you're not gonna have the same experience with digital content. With you know, looking at the box art, and then you open up that brand new game, and you smell it. It's got the brand new car smell in there. You know what I'm saying? And it's got a structure matter. You, you won't you won't get that anymore. So it's it's just, it's a, it's the end of an era, I think. It it might be, but it, it, you gotta remember too that it's gonna be. Um there's always bigger and better stuff coming out and that's going to be one of our uh here in the in the few minutes when you're getting ready to talk about nintendo and all the xbox 360 and four stuff (gasps) i got some news for you (coughs) go ahead do you i do you're gonna enjoy it go ahead okay yeah you got me (laughs) you got me thinking now all right so now that i killed the mood back to some other news uh geek wire R9 Cast and uh, other sources have reported that uh, we, I think we may have missed him this last time. Did we talk about Joe Staden? We did. Did we? we? Did. Okay. Last week we did. So yeah, you know, for those that um, that may have missed that episode, episode six, you know, he he um, had left. Uh, Joe Staden had left uh, Bungie, right? And he said he was going to. He was very being very elusive. He said he's going to pursue better projects or something different. And all of a sudden, recently, it's been officially announced that he went. He came back to Microsoft. So a lot of the Halo fans are definitely hopeful about this. They think, oh, maybe he's going to join Three for Three Studios or whatever. But it actually, turns out he's going to be like a director of creative director of for Xbox Live. So interesting. Nice. I think they're making some big moves to like make the Xbox Live uh, online experience even better than it already is. Because as far as the console goes, I don't care what anyone says, Microsoft's got their shit together when it comes to the online experience in, on the consoles. Play, uh, PlayStation and Nintendo, I don't know what they're doing. They're still catching up. I'm just going to put that out there. And I'm not being fanboy, I'm just being real. Well, no, that's something that we're going to talk about here in a second with, okay? And then I'm just going to go into it because... Um, if you guys think about it, okay, I'm, and I'm 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 doing. I was hoping I could get this done Wait, by the time. Hold, hold on, Obi, Obi, Obi. Should we talk about the ne- next piece of Nintendo news first before we get into your bit? Yeah, go ahead, man. That'll give me okay, time to finish what I'm doing. Cause I think I know where you're going. I read I read your mind now. I read your mind now. I don't think you have, but we'll see. I think I have. I don't. But think. anyway, Nintendo admitted on Friday, January seventeenth, that their sales projections were way off. All right. They dropped their projections for the fiscal year 70%. 
Seventy percent to two point eight million units to be sold for the Wii U. That's what they hope to sell now. Before they went from being confident, they sold, they estimated like nine million or whatever. They now they're hopeful for two point eight. I don't even think they're gonna hit that. I'm sorry. I I don't think they're gonna hit anything, man. I really, there's some things that have to be done with Nintendo. Okay, or they're. Go ahead, man. I see you looking at me, and you don't want me to say nothing yet. So finish your news because I'm getting ready to say something, and it's not gonna be All nice. Right. I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to speed it up. <laughs> so, so Wii sales are still going strong because I think what's going on is a lot of parents still think the Wii's the hot item. Mm-hmm. And they also see the price point. They're like, hmm. They hit a PS4, you know, hmm. The Xbox, whoa. And then Wii, like, ah, that's still cool, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> they're, 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 the Wii U, yay, no. No, they're buying the Wii. They're buying the Wii. They don't even know. They're not even aware that there's a Wii U or it's a different thing. They probably think the Wii U is like, you know, the Wii with with on, on steroids or something. I don't know. The Wii gonna, for me it, or you? Com- it comes with a hat. The Wii U is the Wii, and it comes with a hat. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, like I said, a what, Wii what? for me or you, you know. <laughs> Wii for you. Wii for me. Wii for everybody. Yay! But, <laughs> okay, I'm going to just... I'm almost, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I promise. <sighs> I know you're going to go up and speak. I have a feeling you know what you're talking about. So, that, so anyway, overall, it seems that uh, Nintendo's finally eating some humble pie. Which they, they kind of need to do. So does Sony. But I won't get into that. And, uh, you know, the, Nintendo, I think they might need to consider if they're going to be just purely fan service and, and a niche, servi- uh, niche content provider. Or if they're going to try to really compete directly with Sony and Microsoft. Which they don't right now. They have kind of like their own little, you know, niche market. And that, that might be a safe place for them. Delusional fanboys, and this is probably what you want to talk about, feel that the Nintendo is safe with all their money in the bank. But I think now is the time for Nintendo to step up. Because the best time for a company to adjust their business strategy is when they're doing well. That's when you need to pivot your strategy. Not mm-hmm. when your things are going to crap. That's what most companies do. Everything needs to go to crap before they finally change things. Rather than saying, well, let's see where our customers aren't happy and improve upon that. Or well, let's see what our customers want and give them the right stuff. <clears throat> you know, they'll think ahead. They, they're always reactive and pissing me off. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead, Obi. <laughs> I don't know if I it want from, to now. It um, went from the news <laughs> to, to my rant. Okay, no. Okay, now <clears throat> we're gonna get to the comments in the chat in a second. I was looking and and watching um, a podcast last week, and I don't remember which one it is. Um, it's probably if if you guys if, if the chat is like all big into podcasts, like I'm I'm beginning to be. Um, you guys probably know who it is. Um, but it was basically they were talking about the differences between Xbox, PlayStation 4, doing all this other stuff with, you know, what's going to happen? How is this going to work? PlayStation and Xbox are always going to be there. They're going to keep up with the times regardless. Now, the one question, this is what the whole conversation was about. Nintendo, what do they have right now? They have a Wii and now a Wii U. Okay, Wii U is not for you. I'm sorry to say it, everybody. Um, Don't be dragged into that crap just because this is why. If the there's there's three possibilities that Nintendo and Yogi, I'm sure you've seen this already by now, but there's three possibilities that Nintendo has. Okay, they can either take first step is uh, we'll just wait and see if it works itself out. We have money. We're good. We can do this. Number two is make a stronger console, not a Wii. Make a console that has a controller. Make a con. You know, go. I know that the Nintendo controller is has been and always will be the two buttons with the freaking D pad. That's a Nintendo's controller. I understand that, but when it comes down to it. You're losing more and more and more and more sales. Yes, you have millions of dollars in the bank, but guess what? Those millions of dollars ain't going to take you but a, a year to spend. So the third one is make app size games. And Yogi, my question to you on this, now you've heard my discussion, you've heard my point of view on this and where why i think the wii is the dumbest console in the world (laughs) 
I would rather have my Atari back than have the Wii, okay? What do you think is going to happen? And this is for everybody. You guys can all answer this. We're going to do some questions right out of this chat here in a second. But the question is, what do you think Nintendo is going to do? A, let it ride, see if it works itself out. B, make a stronger console. C, make app size games for iPad, Android, you know, all that other stuff, but be coming from Nintendo. What do you guys think? Yogi, you first, buddy. What I think they should do and what they're actually going to do, two different things. I think Nintendo is still very conservative. I don't know if it's uh, arrogance, but I think they're very conservative. And I think they know that no matter what, they, when they release something exclusive as first party, something they make and they put their stamp on, it's going to be a hit. No matter how much it might be regurgitated. You know, they always do something unique enough with each of their releases within their kind of flagship offerings that people keep buying it up. So as long as their core audience keeps buying the same crap, they're going to keep releasing that. And they're not going to really try to, um, you know, develop for other platforms or set up partnerships with third-party developers that can make exclusive games for them that isn't Mario or Zelda or Metroid, which are all great games, but, you know... There's other stuff that people want to play. The other thing, too, is that they need to get the story straight. They need to figure out if they're making a system that's mm. really for everyone and is family-friendly, or if they really care about the mature gaming and, 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 and having mature games. It's a very different thing. Right. Because if, they, if they're saying it for everyone, what they're really saying is we're a family, uh, family-first system. And that's fine, but if they're going to stick to that, they need to go 100% into that and keep building upon that and, and creating more of, of an offering there so that they dominate that market and don't lose that market share. Because Sony and Microsoft, they would have to develop, a, invest a lot to tap into that because they have too many other things they have going on for them. So, yeah, I think, mm -hmm. I feel they should make mobile apps and get the software out to different platforms. Um, I, I, I feel like they should maybe even go to, I mentioned this last time, they should go to Sega, have them make a good console, and then they make they become the software developer. <laughs> right. Well, and, 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 and to add a little bit with that, and I, I do agree with you a little bit, but I think since they are not that hardcore gamer um, console like Xbox or PlayStation is, I think if they're going to stay that way, and like you said, they need to get their story straight. If they can't just have the same story every single time, then nobody's going to buy the damn thing anyway. But I think, I mean, in my opinion, of course, this is all our opinions just because our opinions don't matter. We're still going to say it. Um, <laughs> is it would benefit them greatly to keep the family friendly, let it ride, just let it, you know, let it hang out a little bit, but then venture into some of that multi-platform gaming. Just because they don't have to have a strong console to make millions of dollars. I know a guy that freaking made an app for this. The dude's a millionaire now. One app. So, I mean, yep. it's just, I mean, you can make as much money as you want. But from the chat, we got some um, Wu-Tang Clan is awesome, of course. Uh, but Hemoth said uh, they, should, he, they should just let it ride. Um, is there any, like, uh... And then uh, he basically said a little bit later, honestly, I'd rather to bust, bust out my Sega Game Gear at this point rather than play Wii, dude. Me too. Um, Fang45 said, I think they will let it ride until failure, so it's obvious. It hurts. Um, then make a new console and then open it to third parties. That's basically doing every one of the options. <laughs> Just in 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 order <laughs> we're gonna let it ride okay that just failed miserably so let's make some apps here uh that failed too <laughs> so oh crap we're gonna make a box uh all right we're just gonna go out of business so because you guys don't like how we're doing shit <laughs> i don't i'm just ranting it's not even rant hour yet and i'm just going off <laughs> <laughs> but another one, um, uh, Behemoth did say again, Nintendo needs to make a new system with a new Mario Kart. Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> I, I, I would agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, if, if, and this is any console, okay? 
and PlayStation, I mean, it was already big. Xbox was already big. Once it went online, boom. If we or Nintendo can get an online system better, I think that we we can go with the, you know especially some of the sports games and some of the other games that people can play against each other. I think it would work. Now I'm getting freaking tweeted like crazy. That's awesome. <laughs> well, the the other thing too is I I feel like they're still operating like it's the '80s and '90s, and they still have like they're still like they acting like they're the only kid in the block. Um, and you know, they also feel like the, the novelty of their systems is enough to carry them long term, you know, and it's just like the Wii, the Wii's fun. A lot of people bought it, you know, they didn't think about, should I get a Wii or a Xbox or should I get a Wii or a PS3? They said, oh, let me get a Wii cause it's cheap and you know, and, it, and it's cute. But mm-hmm. then they put, then they collect the dust. So it, they, they don't, co- they don't directly compete with the, the top two consoles. But you know it, they have it has they have the little gimmicks and after the gimmick the novelty of the gimmick wears off it's like okay so there's Mario the Zelda and once I beat those games I'm done with you and mm-hmm. maybe once in a while that might be a bargain bin game that I'll be happy with but you know it's not gonna it's not sticky enough as a platform right well and that's what I was talking about they don't really have to there's enough options out there for um for nintendo to where they don't really have to try to stick up with xbox i mean they can do other things they just need like like you said in the beginning of this conversation they just need to stop changing their damn story every two seconds they can do that then we're good that's just i mean that i mean and it's not rant hour and i'm sorry for ranting and i don't (laughs) anyway but uh, by the way, guys, if you guys do have Steam and you guys do play, um, I'm just going to go right back into it, Yoke. If you guys do have Steam and you guys do play Resident Evil 4, it's coming to Steam February 27th, 2014, um, and is now available for pre order for only $19.99. So if you guys do like that Resident Evil, um, which now that I know that I'm that it's happening, my wife loves that game. So guess what I'm getting her? <laughs> for, hey, happy Valentine's Day, baby. I got a, you a you know, a zombie game. <laughs> then we'll go back into it. <laughs> if you missed the and game. Hey, and we got the zombie episode coming up. Mm-hmm. So we could, we could play some Resident Evil 4. Oh, we man. I we see will. some good things in the future. We will kill them. <laughs> if you missed... If anybody wants to uh, donate that game to uh, Broke Yogizilla, who's got a, you know, mouth to feed, mouth to feed and is recovering from the Steam holiday sale, I'll give you my information after the show. Thank you. Yeah, but then have him stand up and just look at his belly. He eats really well. <laughs> okay, That's one you. thing I'd never go without. <laughs> that and the but if you guys missed this on the GameCube and the Wii, it is possible to uh, to get your Eve on again. So it's uh, that's I'm gonna definitely get it. Especially I'm gonna get it for my wife. I'm just gonna start her a Steam account and say, "Here, you baby, have fun." See what she starts playing, and then if she starts playing it, hey, give it. That's good of to me. She's got to stream it, you know. Yeah. You got you got to have her stream it. Um, a kickoff horseplay community updates, guys. We've we've uh, we'd like to make every Friday casual Friday for when we're actually gaming and, and whatnot. Now there are some Fridays here in the future that uh, I'm back to where I'm normal again, so I'm going to be going out on some Friday nights. But we're going to be doing some casual, you know, casual Fridays with viewers and with with subs and 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 whatnot. So. Um, this is something Yogi's been saying, dude, we need to say this and say it now. Say it, say it, say it. Okay, got it. <laughs> Not yeah, like so that, but it just during the show, he's like, make sure you say that casual Friday. Okay, I got it. Yeah, we got to make it a thing, you know, where we'll just play some, like, really chill games that don't require too much thinking or too much commitment. Hang out with the community, do a little streaming, drink a little whatever. I don't know. Just, just, just let it all hang out. Right, 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 right. And and the one thing, the, the one piece, last piece of news that I want to get out there, and Yogi, I am so sorry if it's somewhere else in the notes, but guys, if you guys are on Steam, um, what I want you guys to do is I want you to go into Steam right now and I want you to click search button. I want you to click horse communities and hit horseplay. Come join our community, guys, on Steam. We, um, I'm on Steam all the time because, uh, you know, I play War Thunder and I play DayZ, and you guys should come and just join the fun. I mean, we're talking, we're we're chatting, we're doing stuff. That's where we're going to be setting up player dates, and we're going to be setting up fan dates and casual Friday stuff, and 
Um, and then, you know, of course, you know, and we're going to have a website here in the future as well, which is going to be really awesome. So, but um, right into uh, some updates, uh, some community updates that we're going to do. And I guess that kind of works out a little bit. Let's play some games. We are going to play some games. I read that wrong. Excuse me, heartburn. We are going <laughs> to play some, be playing some games with our friends, followers, and fans. Um, at Meanwhile, the top. Obi's throwing up in his mouth. Uh, no, no, it was just a burp, dude. Don't You're going to make me sick, dude. Don't do that. <laughs> um, first, at the top of the rotation, we would like to uh, tell you guys, is it still? Uh, it is still Steam Greenlight. Uh, the Steam green light that we have chosen to back and that we that we all three of us even soldierism He does like to play is Armada online uh, We do want you guys to try that just because it's a new game um, And if you guys do like the uh, the gist of it and you guys do realize it is an alpha it is in pre-release I mean very pre-release and we want to get it on Steam so that uh, more people can play it you guys go check that out Armada online um, or you can just type in Steam and hit Steam Greenlight and uh, check that out. Skulls of Shogun. What's uh, what's the uh, update for that? Skulls of Shogun and Magic 2014. So, so yeah, yeah. So this is some of the games that uh, I'm gonna be giving away to mm. ca help promote our channels on Twitch and uh, get horseplay the horseplay word out there, mm -hmm. and also set up some community play dates. So, yeah, uh, Skulls of the Shogun. Yogi, eat uh, some soup, man. <laughs> eat some soap? No, no, no. There's, there's a story to that. I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> no, I'm, I'll pass on that. But, <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, Skulls of the Shogun, uh, Magic 2014, Risk of Rain, um, Hammer Watch. Why did I put Hearthstone in there? Oh, because I, oh, I had some beta keys, but I don't matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you got beta keys and you got your thing that late? Yeah. Don't, don't, I don't even that means that me. means I should have had some too. Oops. <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> I just I I don't know. I don't know what happened. It went to like a black hole. All of a sudden, everything popped up. Every. Ah. <laughs> if Wait, you guys hammer watch, hammer watch, hammer watch is the other game. Right. Well, so and and I haven't tried that yet, but I'm going to another game that um I'm gonna be playing. Um, and Soldier is it, little, 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 little. Soldier is actually going to be playing as well. It's called Mech Warrior Online. Uh, it's just like if you guys know what a Mech Warrior is, it's just a big freaking robot that you go fight and shit in. It's cool. It takes a little bit to get the controls down, but it is nice. It's got really good graphics. The guns are amazing. Um, and um, myself and or Soldierism, um, if. I think we're going to, I'm going to be getting some uh, tutorials out uh, just to help people out in the future. And I think he's doing that too, maybe, maybe not. I don't really exactly know. I didn't ask him. So, <laughs> but, but, um, which game, which game is this? I was watching the chat. I'm sorry. Uh, Mech Warrior Online. That's so, oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Mech Warrior series. I, you know me, I try to avoid MMOs because they require commitment and I have commitment issues. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. It's tempting. It's tempting. That's what your wife said. Um, glad you didn't <laughs> hear that. Um, everybody, we are going to since I do play League of Legends and Yogi does too. We are going to. And this is strictly for fun. We're not going crazy. We're not trying to go pro. This is no. We are going to start a horseplay League of Legends five v five ranked team. Um, in that team, you do get nine slots. So um, basically, once we do post that on Twitter, okay, you guys got to be following us on Twitter to get it. Once we post it on Twitter, the first, well, me and Yogi, so the first seven people to get on it gets to uh, join the team, and we're just going to play a little bit. That is on uh, NA. Um, I do have an account on EU as well, EU West. Um, but we can do that in the future if we do get any uh, fans from over there. So, uh, Curtis, all these, yeah, dude, it, Curtis said that all the podcasts are really hard to keep up with. Um, if you want to, you can do too is, um, actually, nope, never mind. Lost my train of thought. Told you I was going to do that today, guys. Obi just had an Obi moment. My Obi moment just joined my other Obi moment. 
<laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm not crazy, guys. I promise. But we are. <laughs> but with the horseplay, Freeman Daddy, Freeman Daddy's trying to start a trying to start a little issue here. I see what you're doing there, Sean. He's trying to start another rant. He's like, he's bringing up a, one of our old things. But see, now it doesn't matter, Obi, because you and I are Xbox One people. And he's trying to ask us, Xbox One or PS4? Well, there you I'm go, sorry. Xbox One. There's... Xbox One, is a, to me, it's a no-brainer. Unless you care about the exclusive games that PS4 has, I don't want to deal with circle, square, triangle. And, and I don't have little tiny Asian hands. I don't know. I just can't mess with that controller. Wow, there's more. First it's little people, and now you're bashing Asians. What the heck, man? I know. I'm so I'm I'm so inappropriate. <laughs> I'm gonna get us banned. <laughs> Can't get us banned from. Hey, uh, we know you guys were doing this show, and we're we're really sorry, but that Yogi guy, he's a freaking ass. So you know, sorry. All right, we'll just start over and do it different All right, I'll, I'll, I'll resume the remark. <laughs> I just have fat fingers, and I can't deal with something little. Cause my hands start cramping up, and I feel like a retard. So now I mean, you're stereo. Now you're stereo. I feel like I'm mentally challenged. Now you're stereo. Okay, that's four of them. Now you're stereotyping oh. big people. Um, fluffy, I call them. You're type. You're stereotype. All right, Yogi, we're gonna have to have a conversation after this show. <laughs> a stern talking too. No, how much I'm actually laughing inside, but it's okay. <laughs> yes, uh, free. We are Xbox uh, guys, um, and we'll just go over it just a little bit. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to go to. Is but Xbox. You know what? We'll get that into free ball in here later in the show. But we want to do make sure that um, all the games that we do play the random games. I do play WoW. I play League of Legends, and with, you, know, you guys can check that out below um, on the games that I play. But uh, you know, if you guys do play War Thunder, we're going to be doing some stuff with that. Just like I said, you guys, make sure you follow us on Twitter, at Obi1X2 and at YogiZilla, and all those stuff, will be, all the uh, information will be coming out here shortly of what we're actually going to do and, and be doing here in the future. Uh, and that's with fans, you know, by ourselves, if, you know, whatever. Uh, no... Yeah, anyway, we're not going to do all that, but future updates will be scheduled in advance, and, and on a lot of the uh, the fan, the meets, and the play test, casual play times will be recorded. Um, and then basically, we do have a team speak. Um, we're probably going to try to stay away from uh, Skype a little bit, um, just because of the complications that Skype can provide people <laughs> that are streaming and whatnot. So team speak, I do have that. Um, and if you guys do, just uh, you guys whisper me. Give me a shout out. I'll give you the TeamSpeak information. But I'm going to open TeamSpeak up here in a few minutes to, uh, or uh, here later in this show, to actually give people the opportunity to uh, to ask them some questions live. So, Yogi, yeah. we got some uh, corrections that we messed up on last week. We got any updates for that? I don't think we have any corrections. We have some, some updates. Uh, so we talked about Broken Age. And it's uh, actually, I think it's still available on, uh, for pre-order. Last I checked, I know. Actually, I think people are playing it right now. So, you know, again, if you like the hand-drawn graphics and traditional point-and-click adventure games, check out Broken Age. It was a Kickstarter. It took a little while to be released, but it's finally, it's finally here for mass consumption. Well, think, you know, think like Sam and Max, um, King's Quest, or Leisure Shoot Larry type games. Well. Leisha Larry, maybe not so much, because it's a little more mature. But <laughs> it's worth a look if you like that kind of stuff. Actually, the, probably the closest thing that comes to that kind of genre is like the Walking Dead titles from uh, Telltale Games, where you don't really play right. a game and kind of just click on stuff. You just kind of click on fun. stuff and hopefully you win. Yeah, but it's fun. Well, it's, that's uh, that's how it goes, though. I mean, it's an interactive story slash game, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Interactive Wait. story slash okay, got it. I think <laughs> maybe. Well, I don't want to start. I don't want to start that debate. Debate again. That's a, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> but they, you know, the cool thing about it, this game raised three million, and they, I think, the goal they had set was like three hundred k. So pretty. Yeah, that that was something that we brought up last week too. A three hundred thousand dollar goal, and they raised three million. Um, that's I was just sure. Phenomenal. Yeah. Um, we, just, a, we just touched upon that. We did. We actually did touch up on that last week. Um, I think Soldier actually read that off. I think maybe. 
it's all good. We can hit it again. But anyway, guys. I didn't lost it again, Zoke. I'm waiting for you to keep going. Okay. So, what else did we talk? Yes, a few weeks ago, we also mentioned uh, that Sega might be bringing out a Dreamcast 2. You know, and I just want to make sure we, we let everybody know, especially the, the hopeful fans out there, that a lot of this stuff uh, that's building up this these kind of news bits are hopeful fans and artist renderings and cruel jokes. But I've been digging a little deeper, and, and the, supposedly there have been specs being bounced around. They're still doing some R&D and really kind of keeping feelers out in the marketplace. So there's a chance that it could happen. Uh, whether they partner up with another company that wants to absorb some of the financial risk, uh, Nintendo, uh, mm -hmm. or what, who knows. But, um, you know, 12 years Sega hasn't been in the console market. Um, I, again, I say I think Nintendo should maybe swallow their pride and, and talk to Sega and be like, yo, we suck at what we're doing, but we make good games. You guys got a, the full package, a better package than we do. We got a little package. You got a bigger package. So let's make this happen. And that's it. Right. <laughs> um, that, those, are, those are the corrections and updates for the week. Nice. It'll be um, free, man. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that for the uh, the not on the good show. Um, and, and, and they were talking earlier, and they were talking about what do you guys use. And Zebra Moth. Um, Zebra Moth. Why do I do that? Behemoth uh, came off and said, Telephone? No, nah, we use walkie-talkies. Well, Fang came back and said, uh, Screw you guys. I use ham radio. <laughs> you know what that is. <laughs> but, yeah, yep, Behemoth wins. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear ham radio, I get hungry. Is that wrong? No, because that, yeah, ham. Mm, I don't eat pork. Never mind. What? Mm -mm. Bacon. Bacon, the candy of meats. Don't eat bacon either. Oh, my goodness. You're breaking my heart. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm trying to keep it real. I don't eat... Actually, I do eat bacon, but... I try not to eat pork because it just... It messes with me. I just can't do it. Moving on, yes. Moving on into what? Man well, crushes. I think we touched upon... Yeah, I think we talked about the future man crushes and geek girl segments. You know, we're going to have... But let, yeah, let's talk about it again. We can. Just to reinforce it. So Re we're going to have Tony Ray. Reinforce. Re reinforce. Yeah, America. <laughs> or American justice. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> you said that a little too well. <laughs> yes, but Bang says I'm fine with swine. I sure am. But we do hope to have, and I'm gonna. I know you were doing to do this, but I'm just gonna read it off. We hope to have Tony Ray in the future, guys. If you guys don't know who that is, um, it's uh, it's he's from We're Live podcast um, and Firefall, uh, the MMO actually. Uh, and you guys can uh, join us. For, uh, you guys can join them anytime for some zombie talk and chat. Um, that's what we're actually gonna be chatting about when he actually gets here, um, and and maybe even some game discussions on you know. Like we said, the Resident Evil 4, you know, maybe some of the Resident Evil stuff. You know, anything zombified, you guys bring it on. We'll take it. But if he is down for that, we are going to have him over in the next in the next few weeks, I think. What do you think, Gil? About the next uh, couple weeks that we're actually going to try to get him on the show? Yeah, like I said earlier, he's, he's definitely down. He's just talking about doing it next week, mm -hmm. but... I told him, well, let, let's get together, let's brainstorm, and make this an epic episode so we don't just jump into it. But he's been, like, super busy because he does, he does the Firefall community management. Then he does all these different uh, YouTube segments. You saw that the Ask the Dev thing that he does. Yeah, I love that, dude. Yeah, he's I hilarious. Do but if and he... He, does, he, he does improv, too, right? Mm -hmm. so he does comedy, stand-up comedy, but it's all, like, ad-libbed. And then he does voice acting, and he, that's where the We're Alive thing comes in. So he's a busy dude. So mm -hmm. I don't think he's been doing. He's been cutting that many episodes for We're Alive lately. And I don't want to give any spoilers, but I haven't. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can't say yeah. anything. You can't say anything about that show right now. Okay. I was told not to say anything about it. If you were, were going to start talking about it, I was going to say, Shut up! Mm. Don't say anything! Brains. Mm. But anyway, zombie talk with... Tony Ray, 
Another guest that we were thinking of, that uh, we're trying to get into the show is uh, Kristen Looney. Uh, it's a, and you guys are gonna love this. A former NASA engineer turned tabletop game developer. So I can make a space shuttle launch from Earth, and they could go fast enough to break the orbit of the earth or great break the gravitational pull that's too easy i'm gonna go make board games that's what they thought and isn't it it's man and woman right too it's it's yep. it's their husband their husband and husband and wife so um that's gonna be a really that's gonna be a really really fun one um but you guys stay tuned for that um we are gonna go into a short little break um, we are going to play some music here, and right when we come back, we are going to be dusting off some of the older, maybe not so older, but games that we've been playing over the last week. And um, we will see you guys here in a few moments. This is Horseplay, Obi, Yogi. We'll see you guys in a few minutes. Welcome back, guys. What are you laughing at? I can't the get chat. through an. I can't get through the intro, and you're laughing at me. Are you laughing at the chat? Confuse me. And this is payback, guys, from earlier. Anyway, welcome back. This is horseplay. My name is Obi One X Two, aka Obi, down below, right over there, Yogi Zilla, and uh, aka the Yog, Gi, guy. Yeah, if you guys do want to hit us up on Twitter, or just follow us on Twitter. You guys can hit us up. Our links are right below uh, at Obi1X2, at YogiZilla. And you guys do see a little scroll up top of uh, above Yogi's camera. Um, that is uh, some of the, uh, make sure I say it right, blogs that you're writing. Correct? E, that's, those are my main... Two of my main sites, yeah, but the blogs for the okay. most part, yeah. But if you guys do want to get uh, Yogi does talk about a mess load of things. So you guys go check that out. Yogi, next question, sir. And before we get to this question, I'm going to kind of uh, do a little bit of uh, – I want to see what you were laughing at. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I got, like, the most suspicious look because I keep looking at all the different windows. <laughs> Dude, Behemoth, if you would have seen me bowl tonight – with me and Diana, we were bowling at the same time, and we were sitting there doing the little shake all, all the way up the lane. We were just sitting, bouncing back and forth. So you missed it. Everybody else seen it but you. What Sean's request? <laughs> Tell me to smile. <laughs> Tell you to smile? Yeah, man, you got to... You know, I, I got a weird smile now, but... It, um, we got to do, I know you want to hear some Pantera, and I will definitely pay, play some Pantera for you um, when I'm streaming. Uh, this is all recorded, and it's all, we got to make sure that we're careful with uh, the music and what we do use, because we do put it on YouTube. Um, but if you guys do want to check out some of this music, he does have all kinds. It's uh, technoax.com. I will put it in chat. Um, you guys, all you gotta do is just check him out. He is, he's great. Yogi, what are you doing? He just I'm pointing did. at you. Why? I'm, point, I'm pointing at you like the angry monkey from Family Guy. Oh, yeah. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you guys can say, go check that say, out. What we should do, what we should do is do special episodes, no holds barred. Not do video, just do straight audio. Mm -hmm. And forget and forget about that. People get a break from our ugly mugs, but then on top of that, we can put whatever music we want. 
Mm -hmm. Because YouTube is an asshole. That, okay, Google's an asshole. Not YouTube. The YouTube community is cool, but Google's an asshole. Because they don't like you putting... No, that's YouTube stuff, man. That's copyright laws. I gotta. That's what I'm being careful. Anyway, we're not talking about copyright laws. If you do want to hear some, I do stream some gameplay. <laughs> Yogi. He's throwing us off topic, and who I really don't want to be. I'm not. Yes, you are. Gosh. Look into my eyes, you are. Anyway, get back on it. Yogi. Over the last week, we always I always ask the same question. Oh, what did you play last, this past week? I want to know, what are some of the games that you continued to play? We're going to get to your list in a second. What are some of the games that you've been playing over the last couple weeks, a month, that you just can't put down to, to get onto your list? That's the question for you for this first part. Whoa, games that <laughs> I like, cannot whoa. put down. Okay. <laughs> So basically, games that are keeping me from attending to the new purchases because they're just so addicting. Basically, exactly. That's all I want to know. Like the meme, like the old meme is like I just bought a uh, hundred <laughs> games on Steam on sale, and I'm still playing League of Legends. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that pretty much is true for me. That it's been a lot of League of Legends, um, Dota two, uh, Armada Online here and there. A little bit of Hearthstone. I still haven't gotten completely hooked on it. Uh, Soul Forge, and then uh, Marvel Puzzle Quest. But then on, on top of that, I'm gonna be playing a lot more Guardian Heroes than I have already because we got a little special thing going on in Gaming History 101. Hmm. Or uh, we do do a game a game club, so I'm replaying that, and uh, we're gonna talk about that game. So, but yeah, basically the one I just mentioned before, Guardian Heroes, those are like the main ones that usually almost always distract me like pretty much any mobile or tcg that's like my go-to choice man and that, that ladies and gentlemen why he does that is because he has um he has some problems and and we're going to be going to the therapist here in a shortly for it um he has commitment issues um when he's playing video games so that's why he has to play 150 freaking games at once because uh, <laughs> basically you know it's you know a couple hours he's like oh yeah i'm sorry Sorry, game, you're just not meeting my commitment needs. You know, and then he goes to another one. No, it's not like that at all. I'm just talking <laughs> shit. But, but um, some of the games, uh, is that the ones you dusted off, man? Um, yeah, for the most part, overall, that's what I've been dusting off. Uh, well, like, I, 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 I kind of did slack off with LOL for a little while, so I've been mm -hmm. kicking back into League of Legends, and I've been playing Dota 2 really hard, because I'm under-leveled there. I don't know what happened, but I lost all my levels in Dota 2 somehow. Um, so I'm, like, re-grinding them. So now I feel more committed to that. Uh, <laughs> then I play a little more Trials Evolution HD, which is a really fun game. I was not thinking that would be my thing. I need to play. I, I played a little arm out online, but I need to play more. It's more fun when I have friends to play with. So if you guys are out there, you want to play Armada online, it's free to play. Check it out. Give it a try. It's good if you play with people that know what they're doing, and you give it a real chance. It's got like elements of tower defense and and uh, mobas. It's more of an RPG action game, and it has Ob dancing sexy and twer and twerking a little bit. So that's a good thing. It's free. It's an alpha build right now. And vote for it, Steam Greenlight. I gotta keep plugging that away because there's good guys over there. But yeah, I haven't, other than that, I haven't done so much gaming. How about you, man? Um, lately, I've been I've been trying to just play, kind of concentrate on the, the the initial two or three games that I've been playing on. Um, for me, I've been of course playing LOL. I've been playing LOL a little bit more, and I'm kind of getting uh, a little bit of a different look at it. Not that I've been, you know, I'm not really, I haven't really dusted off anything special. Um, and of course, I've been playing some WoW. Um, you know what? I gotta look. Uh, let's see, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, of course, because now my wife has that game, and she's been talking some mad trash, saying she's gonna beat my butt and everything. So I gotta make sure <laughs> I get geared up there. Been dude, playing. She gets really. She gets really sassy when she sees that she, game, bro. She's evil, dude. Dude, no. Evil. What? She's like, I I'm going to get you. I'm like, whoa. Who are you dude, talking to? She's like the guy in the game. I'm like, you know he can't hear you, right? She's like, yeah. You, you know what? 
What do you wonder? Blizzard needs to make a Harry Potter TCG. No, they don't. And I know my, I know my, my wife will get into it. Hearthstone, she might get into it. Because Blizzard's good at making games that people that are really, like, have wide appeal, you know? Like, anyone can jump into it. Right. Well, um... I don't know. And then some of the other ones that I've just been continually playing, I played uh, Smite a couple of times this week, and again, man, it's just, it's just, I haven't even played it that much, and I'm already getting bored of it, because I can't get any champions, I can't get anything going, and just screw it. Um, How much and, fun? Uh, Smite. Oh, yeah, 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 I've been playing that too, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And then, like I said before, Armada Online and Mech Warrior, and then I actually, I actually did Dust Off 1, of course, Daisy. I actually did Dust Off 1. Total War Shogun 2. If you guys do have that on Steam, challenge Ooh. me. If you have that on Steam, challenge me. I will fuck you up. And that's the Sega game. And that's the bottom line. Because Obi said so. Thank you for your time. <laughs> You're going to remind me about that. I might have to jump on that. I was just like going to so quote a Stone Gold Steel off. So I was like, man, I can't do that. You have to crush a Pepsi, uh, not Pepsi can, a beer can on your head. Because that's what I'm saying. Because Obi said so. It didn't even <laughs> sound good. I don't even. It didn't even sound good. But basically, for the dust off for me, if there's, if, if there's, uh, what, what about you, chat? Um, what are some of the games? If you guys have been playing the same games as us, it's all good. What are some of the games that you've dusted off this week a little bit? And maybe a few of the games that have been continuously played i guess is that the word to say i'm gonna say it maybe of course yeah nobody yeah, yeah. no but that, oh. i think uh fang said that he's been playing mm -hmm. uh mods for don't start which they have a lot of mods uh for that game and uh i think if we get the steam version it's got the steam workshop support as well i got the non dr uh drm free one from humble bundle and uh, it's got a lot of mods in there, too, that you get. Um, I haven't even touched them. But the regular game is frustrating enough. And apparently, for those that are into... Look, we're keeping the zombie theme going. We are. State of Decay. State of Decay. Well, they got uh, mods that they're starting to come out with as well. Well, and then, too, with uh, with Daisy, I saw something in chat. I did see it earlier. I think it was Freeman. Um, we can definitely get on there. I think it was Fang. Uh, we can definitely get on there and, and play some Daisy together. I I love playing it. Um, the clan I'm with, do, we do have a server, so you guys just let me know when you guys want to. Jump on TeamSpeak and say, Obi, let's get your ass in game. Let's play. We'll rock it yeah, out. Per apparently, if you don't uh, if you don't roll with a team in there, people will like troll you and kill you badly. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't sound fun. My, my, a few of my friends were telling me it's more of a loot fest right now in the early access. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. But uh, I did want to say that the version of Guardian Heroes that I'm playing is the one for the Xbox 360. And it's the harder version. I did not realize this until I went back to the Sega Saturn version and looked at like the gameplay videos of it. Because I don't have my Sega Saturn anymore. I did something stupid and I sold it off to make room for stuff. And compromise with the family with the wife and whatnot and i like i regret it but mm -hmm. uh this version of guardian heroes is much harder oh my goodness but yeah i'll probably be streaming that and, and recording some videos but i also wanted to mention that this weekend on steam sanctum 2 is free to play and of course with the free to play weekends on steam they got super cheap sales as well and i think the game's like three bucks and it's it's pretty neat i'm, I'm curious about it it's a Tower defense game that has like FPS elements. I don't know. It looks pretty dope, man. Well, yeah, definitely try this? it. No, I haven't actually. Which one is it? He said Sanctum Two. Sanctum Two. Yeah, looks looks interesting. I, I, you know what? I will, I will do you one better, yo. And I will write it down. I have a list right here of games that viewers want me to try. So we will write it down here. Sanctum. Two. And if you guys do, you guys do want to see games either on. Um, on on YouTube or on Twitch, if I can stream them, I will definitely. Sadly, my computer is uh, not as strong as it should be to stream some of the Twitch games, but um, I can record them and make even make some some playthroughs. Um, what else you got, Yog? Um. Oh yeah, and I, you know, I, I I did actually. Yeah, I forgot all about that. I I did play my Xbox 360. 
it's been really hard to t- turn on any console because as a PC, I got so many games on there, and it's so much easier just going to the library, click and load, and I have to swap out a disc. I mean, I love physical copies. We talked about this with mm-hmm. how there's something different about having a physical copy, but it's also convenient to have just a whole library of digital games, and um, especially when you're streaming them. But I did play some Borderlands 2, and I played uh, some Black Ops 2 and uh, some Battlefield 3. And I'm so behind at times. I, I just, I'm just not, I'm not feeling left out enough to want to jump on Battlefield 4 or Ghost or any of that. Like, right now, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm good where I'm at. It is, right. Well, we are going to, um, some of the dust off games that we, uh, that we are playing. I'm watching chat, my contacts messing up, my bad. Um, some of the, some of the, some of the games that we are playing are, we do it for fun. We do it because a lot of you guys want us to, um, and just be able to try new stuff. Our mod online, nobody's ever heard of it, but we we play it because we have a friend that uh, um, Mark Jordan that uh, that asked us, you know, hey, try this out, guys. Tell me what you think about it, and it's actually a decent game. So, um, but getting right into um, the feature segment, I know we usually play music, but we're not gonna do that. We are, but we're not gonna do that right here. As you guys know, what do you want to say, Yugi? I think you want to say something. Not yet. I'm good. Okay. Well, as you I'm guys looking, know... I'm looking where your little pink marker is at. Mm, that's good. As you guys <laughs> know, last week you guys did hear about... Oh, excuse me. Yummy. No, it's not. It's a burp. It's just like, <laughs> it's just like yeah, whatever. Last, last week... Okay, and I forgot the guy's name again. Um, the the developer from Blizzard actually oh, yeah. went. It's Ghost Crawler. Uh, actually uh, went to uh, uh, Riot Games. Strep? Strep? I, it's Ghost Strep? Crawler. Ghost Crawler's fine. Uh, you guys can tweet him at Gross, Ghost Crawler. Um, he is the same. He's still the same guy, but he he left Blizzard. I really didn't get any information about this, and I've still been looking for it all week, and I still couldn't find it. But he went to Riot Games. Why he signed with Riot Games is beyond me, but speaking of Riot Games, Season 4 is in full effect, guys. It has started. You're, if you have a champion on uh, any server, NA, US, or whatever, they have reset. So um, instead of doing five promo games now, it's a 10. And wherever you're at, speaking of your MMR, that's where you'll be set up. If I win seven of, or five of five in my promo games, I will start at silver one, um, which is good for me because I only have to win five. Um, the way I've been playing lately, I've been, I'm going to win more than that. Um, but it's, it's really good if you guys do want to check out your MMR or what your MMR is. Um, uh, we'll be doing, I'll be doing that in a, in a later stream and maybe even a video. Um, but basically for the, the little thing is basically you just go and you go to Lol King and you check out your Lol King score. Now, if you don't have a high Lol King score, you haven't been playing ranked at a certain, for a certain time, um, they won't have a good score for you because it'll be wrong. So, um, but you guys can check that. Um, I don't necessarily know how to get my MMR. Somebody just told me what my MMR was, and it's about right. So I'm sorry. Riot Games, they are looking to have very, very big plans uh, for version point uh, version four in 2014. Um, what's that? How do you spell that? Pwith? Pwith letter? Yeah, Pip wrote a letter to the community of, of mm-hmm. uh, with regards to uh, the vision behind uh, ranked play. Want me to read it out? Yeah, go ahead. Let me get it here. Here we go. So he goes, the 2014 season began and leagues have been reset. Aw, sad face. A lot of our changes are focused on observations from last season's ranked play. When we first made leagues, we wanted to combat ladder anxiety where people or players rather were too nervous about losing their rank to actually play makes sense 
However, we ended up seeing, well, we ended up seeing rather, were a group of players. There was a mistake there, who would reach Division Five of a tier and then tank their games as they exploited the motion immunity. No bueno. For the 2014 season, it's possible for a player to get demoted out of league, out of a league, if they continuously play at a much lower skill level while losing games. You'll be sufficiently warned of demotion if it looms, but the change will improve ranked play at Division 5 tiers. We also removed LP clamping, where players would only see tiny LP gains at Division 1 of their tier. That's very true. Clamping will still be in effect at Diamond 1 because Challenger should rep the best players, so it needs to be strict. But all other tiers will see regular LP gains from now on. All right. I'm going to go start my placement matches. Quiff. So, now, I just want to say real quick, my biggest gripe with this is that I, I, I see what they see from a grand scale as far as professional players, but from, from a perspective of people that want to compete but don't want to be super serious about it, this doesn't really do much other than the fact that they're gonna you're going to get more LP at the earlier tier. That's cool. But ranked play is so much of a grind unless you're really devoting a lot of time to League of Legends. Mm -hmm. And what's stupid about it is the assumption is that if you're losing a lot of games, you suck. Um, no, because you get people that still throw matches or they go AFK. So, like, you can't control that. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter how good a singular player is, if it's a team game. If one person decides to go AFK or throw a little fit because you took his buff or whatever and he's going to throw the match, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, you can't, no single player is going to carry the entire team in, in that kind of scenario. So I, I, I feel like they need to make the earlier tiers a little more accessible and less of a grind to encourage people to stick with it and then make it more strict at a higher tier, like they're saying here with Diamond tier. You know, you don't want garbage players getting challenged because that's where it starts really getting serious. So right. I see what they're saying, but the, a lot of the issues that they talk about, um, I, I don't think are the main issues. I do agree with ladder anxiety, and I do feel like with the previous season, they made it more easy to just jump in and just play and not worry so much about your your position. But I don't know. What do you think? Um, I, I like the idea of giving giving people a little bit more incentive to play uh to play ranked um at the end of the season i didn't even bother to boost up um to get to to try to get to silver um yes guys i'm in bronze um, i can guarantee i've had several people tell me before i'm a high silver player um now with playing more i can get to gold and whatever um but that's not what it, what what's beneficial. Um, actually, that's not even what I'm trying to talk about. What I'm trying to say is, when you're at the higher tiers and you're up at, uh, you know, you're at D1 or you know even gold or even uh, what is it? It's bronze, silver, gold, diamond, platinum, challenger. How's it go? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Okay, even if you're at gold one or D, you know, as long as... I understand, uh, you know, platinum or what's what's top? Is it platinum or, or, or diamond? Diamond's top. Diamond is top? Checked. Yeah. All right, later, Behemoth, dude. Appreciate it, man. Give me yes, a holler sometime sure this week. I'm pretty sure it's silver, gold, uh, platinum, then diamond. Okay. Well, anyway, it's the it's challenge. whatever it is. If you're D one or if you're P one or if you're you know a gold one, um, I'm I'm really happy that if if somebody's winning two or three in a row, they can get the hell out of there. They don't. They're not being micromanaged. Saying, okay, you need to win ten more and you get a point apiece, and they're yeah, at ninety good. fucking LP for a month. Yeah. When yeah. you get a player like me that doesn't play all the time and he plays, you know, not occasionally, but he I do play and I'm going to be playing league after this after the show, but. It's when you get some person like me that they don't have to spend hours and hours and hours and hours just practicing for their league games. The reason pros are so good is because they practice freaking 20 hours a day, whether they're scrimming, solo queuing, or whatever. Yes, you have to have the mechanics, but that's why they're so good is because they practice that much. 
I mean, that's that's just how it is. Some of the um, anyway, I'm not going to talk anymore because we can talk about this for hours, and you know that as well as I do. Oh, this, is, this is a feature discussion. Well, yeah. This is the cream of the crop. All right. <laughs> There's going to be a lot more champion tweaks, guys. So what you do see, um, there are quite a few champions right now, and I will get. I will actually. Okay, then I'll get into this then. Uh, some of the some of the champions that are broken. Um, if you do play ADC, um, where you would have. Man, who is that? It's not Ziggs. It looks like his damn brother. Uh, he's an ADC. Um, he no flies clue. an airplane. Oh, oh uh, Corky. Corky. Yes. If you guys remember last season, in the World Championships, Corky was used the most. I haven't seen Corky in a game since then. Is he broken? Very much so. Overpowered champions now. There's really not a Soraka, of course, sucks still. Overpowered <laughs> champions you got like that are like very, very bursty. Fizz, of course, is very, very bursty in the mid. LeBlanc, very, very bursty. Um, some of the ones that shouldn't be bursting that hard that fast, but that's just part of the game. You have to, when you're going uh, against them or, or whatever you're going to do, you need to make sure that you make appropriate actions, whether through gearing or even, you know, leveling your skills differently. Uh, that's just something that you guys have to do for um, the champions you're playing. All right? Particular version 4.1 marks the death, sadly, the death of Riven. Riven yeah. is no longer viable. <laughs> it's not. She's not viable. Uh, she is a good champion in late game. But the 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 loss she takes, if she does not get an early advantage, okay, if she does not win her lane outright in top lane or if she's going to go Riven mid or whatever, she does not win her lane, she is done. She's useless for the rest of the game. And she was uh, already like that before the changes. And, and and they didn't improve her, but you gotta remember, dude, Riven is uh, Riven's one of the most picked in threes. So I yeah, mean, it's yeah. just you, you, she's got the bursty chant, bursty stuff that she can mope somebody down with. And but you I mean this, that's just gonna be something that people are gonna be talking it, talking about forever. Um, really, like you said here, this it, the change is is it's. it's Actually, the lack of change was unnecessary. They needed to do something with Riven. Um, they, I think they didn't. They downscaled. They downscaled her Q for one. Um, their her shield doesn't do as much. I mean, she doesn't get as much from her shield anymore. I mean, it's like every ability that she put off is lower. And then yeah, you're just put, basically uh... getting your ass kicked every time you try to go against somebody or even trade with the top laner. Yeah, she's got a shorter duration on her on her shield. By two so seconds. Four yeah. To, two, six to four seconds. Come on. They made it so that, like, if she goes in, she's got to commit. There's no, like, half-assing. I, I, I kind of get the design logic for that, but I don't think she really needed that that adjustment. I don't know. That's just me. Right. They'll, they'll probably fix her in the next couple patches. I do. Um you have a question here, and I'm going to ask everybody this, and this is something that um, I've been actually worrying or thinking about myself for the last week, too. Is Caitlyn still the top ADC? Yogi? And will, and will she still maintain that spot? Well, she's not the top ADC right now. She's not. Well, it's changed a little bit, but she's always been like in the top five or ten at least for as far as, as far as I've been checking. I think uh, I don't know. I don't see how many people can really. I still see her personally. I see her as one of the most common picks for, at ADC. And now we're gonna see probably less of Jinx, which is kind of funny. The change to Jinx, I find bewildering. Like her flame chompers aren't that good to begin with, and they nerfed. They weren't. Them they weren't. Early. They were crap in the beginning anyway. Yeah, and they nerfed them. It's like, okay. They gave her less starting health. She was already pretty squishy, but they gave her more health per level. I don't know. Like, some might think these guys are like a riot of smoking crack when they're doing the changes. 
it, but I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like at least smoking take... a big blunt or something because they're some of the stuff that they're doing is just freaking retarded. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't get it. I, I, you know, I kind of see I, it's not gonna likely happen, but I'm kind of hopeful to see maybe Draven or Varus make a comeback. But realistically, it's gonna probably be the same offenders like you know Vane and all the mofos. Well, I, I do have some of the some of the um, the tier list up uh, from a couple different people, and what That's I'm. Real. What I'm seeing, no, dude, the God tier ADCs, and then you can either agree with this and or disagree. If you do disagree, I will tell you why they're God tiers. Real quick, is Ezreal even in the God tier? No. Um, really? Hmm. AD Gods, Sivir, Draven, Jinx, and Lucian. Lucian. I are the really? God tier ADCs? Yes. Is that as far as like what's been most picked? Um, it, it's basically, I'm, I'm looking at the four different websites right now and, um, they, anyway, that's, that's what is coming out of all four of them is all four of them has Sivir, Draven, Jinx, and Lucian. Um, uh, one has, uh, an Ezreal, another one has Caitlyn, another one has, you know, uh, the only, where Ezreal is at, Caitlyn, Twitch, Virus, Tristana, Ezreal, and Graves are all tier one. So, but really, that's half the ADCs that are in the thing anyway. But now, this is the th one thing I want to say. People don't do it, and I wish they would if they would actually be able to play this guy. Ergot will counter any ADC you get. And I'll prove it. Ergot is very underrated. Ergot Don't is so I... underrated, dude. I can go in, and I could be Thrash. I could be Soraka. Okay, and if I have my ADC has Urgot and he knows how to play him, we win lane and we win game. That's straight up. There's yeah, not any I I ADC that can trade one for one with Urgot because he does too much damage. He is overpowered. Despite well, what that and he says. also reduces their damage. He has that thing where he reduces their damage. Like any target, his passive is he reduces the da damage output of whatever his target is. So if he's one on one, mm -hmm. it's gonna to be tough to take him out because he's already tanky. He's got the little shield, and um, then he gives chase really well. I the love that. I don't like about lane, him. Believe it or not, yeah, he's fun. He's fun, but the other thing about him is that I don't like his his slow his slow movement speed and like the short super short range. He's got like a chode as far mm -hmm. as his range goes. <laughs> and, and 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 something that um um Lucas and welcome, uh, that uh, she said as well that uh, and she plays a lot of bot lane. Uh, Sivir is actually losing her appeal to a lot of people um, because you, there's so many things that you can do to counter that. I mean, yes, once she hits her alt and they're 2v1ing you, you're dead. I'm sorry, but you're dead. Um, but a lot of things... Uh, yeah, okay. You get on Lucian, I'll get on Urgot, and I'll 1v1 you. <laughs> I don't care. This is I'm talking to a platinum player right now, so yeah, I'll 1v1 you. Um, Fighting words. Yeah, definitely. I love Urgot though. That's the ADC. If I have a chance, a chance, I'll pick Urgot over. I have Lucy and I have Jinx. I have. I think every ADC there is, but I would rather have Urgot just because he does damage, lots of damage. She'll kick my ass one v one. So I was just playing about that taunt, by the way. <laughs> just saying. I don't. I'm just playing. I'm good. Hey, what's up, Cluster? Now, Sivir might be falling out of uh, out of favor, mm -hmm. but I think it's only because she went back up in popularity once they did the tweaks on her, and people saw she was viable. But then, mm -hmm. like, it, it goes back to the same offenders because you know the coolness factor. Uh, so I don't know. It it's it, it's neat to see Draven uh, seen as a as a god tier pick, but I, don't, I I'm you know I'm wondering how that compares to like who's actually played the most and. Who's got the highest win loss ratio? Because I haven't seen Draven as much. I haven't seen. Um, um... I see a lot of Draven in, in in some of the streams that I've been uh, that I've been watching. But again, some of the streams that I've been watching, they're pro players. So, I mean, yeah. those dudes play everything. Um, uh, Curse, uh, which is Snoopy, and I'm playing stupid right now. But they they love Draven uh, Draven Thresh, or Draven Nona too. Um, but uh, it's it's a lot of things is uh, 
with League of Legends right now is you have to. I mean, it's kind of hard when you're doing solo queue, uh, but when you're in solo queue, especially if you're last, I mean, you you gotta have a team comp for what you want to do. I mean, if you got some, you know, if you got a spread out team comp that's just not viable, of course you're gonna get your ass kicked. You're gonna lose. I mean, you gotta have something that you can you can you need something with a tank you know you need you know if you don't have a tank at least i mean you have a couple of assassins so we can you can try to pick people off i mean it's, there's so many different ways and i'm not going to get into that that you can do and you could win games with z can well, yeah, well, yeah it's then it's not it's not it's not cursed then i think it's eg um but that i think it's snoopy and um and uh cripple Oh, she just said it. Yeah. Snoopy is the mid laner for EG. Okay, then it's not Snoopy. It's uh it's Yellow Pete and Crepo. Yellow Pete loves to play Lucian Lucian. Uh and he loves to play uh Urgot as well. Uh, they did four four ranked games. Uh his last four um Crepo's last four uh placement games. And they played uh Urgot and Leona destroyed four games in a row destroyed them i mean just there's nothing i mean they had the jungler there 90 percent of the time and they still rolled over top of them <laughs> some good check going on here though yeah i know i'm kind of watching it that's why some of it gets caught up now and and what i want to say is is in 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 regarding to the wild thing with with the 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 champions getting better or worse or the some of the new patches that are being are being implemented it's basically you actually got to practice i mean you actually got to you know uh, you know if you're going to play support you actually got to know what you're doing where to ward when to ward how to do it i'm sorry and, and yeah people say oh that's easy as hell dude you know but if you've never <laughs> done it before i can tell you right now if you guys go look at one of my streams and i think i got it li highlighted Lucasa can tell you. You can ask her. I had never played support. Now, at the end, when she was kind of helping me out a little bit, I was doing really well. But I don't know where to ward. I don't know where to think. I mean, I was playing Thresh. I love Thresh. And now I really like Leona. But Oh, yeah. Leona I'm, sits on I'm, people. I'm a mid player. I have I play all mids, and I love playing top. So, I mean, being supporter in ADC, I can play them. But my mechanics, I mean, last hitting is last hitting, no matter where you're at. Um, but my mechanics with an ADC and, you know, a dual lane is a little bit, no, I'm not going to say a little bit. It's a lot off. <laughs> so there's a lot of practicing that I do need to do for that. But Yogi, you've been, you said you've been, you've been dusting off the League of Legends here lately, right? Yeah. What, what are some of the, I know you were, I don't even know what lane you like or what position you actually like to play in. Lately, what position, what position if I you like, play, really? if I play with in in solo queue or dual queue, I tr I try to stick to support because that's when people bitch the least, and I hate having supports that don't ward. Um, but then I, on the flip side, I like also being a non-support person that wards because the warding is not just your support's job. Mm -mm. But yeah, I like support because I do really well on it, and I can play laid back and. Like it comes naturally to me because I'm a team player, so like right. I try to set up plays for people, and do stuff like that. Um, and especially if I play like Tarek, Tarek is amazing at support. I mean, there's other ones that I like too, like Nunu's good. Um, and um, who's the other one? Uh, Lissandra, I like at support. Uh, Lissandra, dude, I played. I played. Um, who did I play support the other day? I Nami. Actually, no, 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 oh. no, no, no. no. I played. I think I played Bully Bear support. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's a fun, one fun too. dude. If you can ever get doing that and play Bully Bear support, it's so much fun. Just because they don't, you know, what's Bully Bear gonna do? That that dude hits freaking hard already as it is. Yeah, yeah. Bully Bear support is great. A lot of people try to go for that, and then but they poorly execute. If you don't, if you know what you're doing, even Alistair support, it's really awesome. But you gotta really know what you're doing. Like if you don't set up the plays you're just you're just messing up the positioning game and then you screw up your your lane right but um 
And then there's also the people that are too aggressive because, you know, Volley Bear and Alistair are both pretty tanky and they think they're invincible and they just go balls deep. And they're like, why didn't you go all in? It's like, because there were three of them and only two of us. And yeah, they had positioning. It, it all matters with, I mean, yeah, 2v3 is not, you know, 2v4 is not welcome, but it matters with how what you have with masteries and, and, and your, your, your runes and whatnot too. Because if, if I'm on Leona... It's the same as Alistar, just turned around. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, I'm going to have all my masteries, right? I'm going to have freaking, you know, maybe a 0.219 or something like that. Um, or even a, four, a 0.14.16. Uh, depends on what, what I'm actually playing. So, you just said to me, Yogi will take this. So, take it away, Yogi. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, I feel like I something else about that. That's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, so the, um, moving on from the champion change. I mean, I don't know if you want to go over some of the big changes on top of the other stuff. No, but I think. Yeah. I mean, I'll go over them real quick. Like it, it, this is in version four point one. You know, so we are in the four point X series that that goes alongside season four. So you know, brand newness, the brand newness, and and and, and you know, Riot's promising a lot of new changes to the game and new features coming up. We'll get into that in a second. But I think some of the most significant changes is that Anivia, they've kind of sped up Anivia uh, to be a little more nimble, lower the mana cost of, of abilities, so that's going to be interesting. And I think the biggest one that I've noticed is that Annie's uh, stun duration is shorter because that was starting to get annoying. I think it was like, uh, was it six, six seconds and now it's like four? Or was it seven seconds and now it's like three? It's, it's it's shorter by almost half. It, I'll, actually it lowered it. It. I'll actually check right now. The max is 1.7, 1.75 seconds for the stun duration. So it was three then, and then it was it's down. Yeah, it's like terrible. You got to blow somebody up quick. So. <laughs> yeah, so I so I kind of like that. You know, they also does some other changes to other people. I'm kind of disappointed again with the changes in Jinx because I don't think she needed some retooling. Uh, Evelyn, I, Evelyn's always been a hot mess, mm -hmm. uh, but I think they, no, nah, I think they made a shittier. <laughs> I can't even recover that. Uh, they did change the Janna, they did change the Nasus. This one, that's not, I don't understand either. They reduced the range of Wither. Derp. I don't know. Well, it's because, and if you remember at the end of season, uh, season three, where Nasus could take, you know, if he just could catch up to you and with Wither... It would slow you down enough to where he would hit you within the next fifty feet and kill you. Because yeah. Wither does so much in the ranges. I mean, so you gotta be I mean, it's I think it's a fifteen yard range now or a ten yard range now to where, you know, Wither is. I mean, you gotta be almost like right on top of him. I played him and I really didn't like him. Um, yeah, they lowered it. They lowered it a hundred units. So it used to be a uh, seven hundred seven hundred dollar seven hundred range, not six hundred range. Right. Uh, so that's pretty. And, it, and it's not. A, it, and it's not really a lot, but it is when you're trying to chase somebody down and kill them or run away from somebody. But well, as Nasus, would you really it. want to run away from somebody? Well, what, what's the average range for a range attacker? Like uh, three hundred units, four hundred units. Well, uh, the the max is Caitlyn. I think she has max ranges, doesn't she? With auto attack, with auto attack, though. Right. Well, you got Caitlyn's Q. Her pit over. So I mean, you got uh, which is uh, eight hundred. Uh, you know what? I'm not. Even, I don't even know. I know her assassinate has a lot of range, but that's like in the the thousand range. It's the one K range or so. Right. But anyway. Well, so, uh, you know, basically, uh, it's a little you, you, you wither. It's essentially, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's about the range of uh, the average uh, range attacker, or maybe a little more. Well, Caitlyn, Caitlyn is six fifty. So for her auto attack, for her, it says uh, six fifty is range. So, um, and I okay. think that is auto attack. But even for even for her her pit over her Q is is a max of maybe seven hundred. I yeah, mean, it see, doesn't so go that right, much yeah. higher. I mean, yeah, AD carry is range between five hundred and seven hundred. Is what I was yeah. thinking. So, you know, it's mid range. It's somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, I don't know. I think it it, it uh, messes up his 
his utility because I mean he already he's already he moves pretty slow. There's ways to counter Nasus, you know. He's not like really easy to break. Um, it's very I don't know I don't know. Rengar has been changed. We talk about Riven, Shivana, Thresh has been changed. Yasu, which we knew was coming. So you know a lot of changes. But I think the most interesting thing this is the segue here is that they're talking about uh, Team Builder, which is a feature that they're building out. And it should be deployed. I don't know if it's going to be next uh, patch, hopefully. But it, team builder is a pretty neat concept. What it's supposed to be is um, an opportunity for people to play and practice specific roles and characters, but without having the friction of people auto locking or arguing about who gets to pay, play what role. Because you, when you queue up, you queue up with, with other people that want to play the roles that are not the roles you want to play. So if you say I want to play uh, jungler, then you won't queue so, up with other people want to play jungler. To so basically, it's gonna have a queue system kind of like what WoW has. When you queue up for a dungeon, you either can queue up for a tank, healer, DPS, yep. DPS, or DPS. So they're gonna do a top lane jungler, mid lane. So is that gonna be the new meta to where they're gonna actually start forcing people to have a jungle? Ah, uh, see, that's an interesting question because I don't. I think LOL needs to move away from the static positions thing. I think they should encourage more of different formations. I, I think the whole two one the one one two split with a jungle a jungler is 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 tired, and no other MOBA has that that very rigid format. Yeah, you, know? you can do it, but you got to remember what the other team's going to do. It that's that's the thing of PvP. Um, you can run a two two one two. But is the other team going to have a jungler, and how much of their your jungle are they going to be in? Are you going to get caught every two seconds when you're trying to run from top lane to mid lane to gank? I mean, that's true, but the you thing know? if you commit to it all the way, you're going to throw them off their, 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 their flow because they're going to expect certain thing. Now, obviously, it's going to, you know, you're going to suffer in one area, but it'll help you push in another area. So whatever area you're stronger in, that's where you're going to have to push and commit to harder. So you start making some plays and force them to respond to it. So most people, when they try, the reason people feel like it, they have to stick to what works is because when they try the different formations, the different splits, it, it doesn't work out because they're not they're not committing to it all the way. They're not they're not using the strength of that formation. Like if you go too mid, you control that mid lane, you know, and make a strong push in the middle. Now all of a sudden, you have made every other area for your opponent dangerous because you come at them from any direction. Um, mm. uh, or conversely, if you push, if you go t uh, two on a top lane, you know, and you're going two on the bot lane, now you split their forces in half because they have to either respond to your top lane or your bottom lane. They can't respond to both at the same time. You push both of them really hard, boom, you know, and you get right. those early towers. Well, there's, there's advantages and disadvantages to everything. Oh, yeah. Um, Lucasa said that the, the team builder is going to be for the blind pick. Uh, basically going to be taking its place and then because ranked if you're in ranked you're not really going to be trying to get into a team builder thing you're trying to you already know what position you want to play you're gonna you know it's going to be the same thing ranked is ranked um and i think that the team builder thing will be beneficial for everybody especially the new players that are coming and i have you know 10 people that i talked to this week that want to try league of legends but it's just too hard to start they don't want to deal with all the bs um yeah. i said well it's well, not is... really if you want to play something it's not really BS. Um, well, just a heads up. They have something. They have separate things they're doing to make the new player experience better. The team builder is more for people that want to experiment with new strategies and uh, maybe new roles or existing roles, but new champions yeah. without like a, you know having the friction of people arguing for a certain role. So, like, if you're in a mindset, I want to work on my mid role. I want to work on my top lane. To, you know, for the next three or four hours, you know, and then you just go into the team builder queue and keep practicing that rather than do the current flow where it's like you got to keep negotiating with people. It's like, well, I want to be uh, top. Nope. Pick order, not call order. And I'm the first to pick. So, ha ha ha, I pick whatever I want. <laughs> By the way, I just want to put that out there. Well, that is how it is. And I think what they should do with the team builder, too. Is when you say when you go into queue if they're gonna it's gonna be like this, but if you go into queue and I'm gonna queue up as an ADC, 
you're automatically put in that fourth position. Yeah. Well, another thing Lucasio says is that basically team build is designed to replace blind pick. That's what that, I just you know. Said. Yeah. So <laughs> I just wanted to give props. Lucasio said it first. I well, that's what I was repeating was her comment in chat. Oh my bad. Loser. I mean, I edit, buddy, edit. I didn't, I didn't hear proper attribution. You're trying to take credit for her, for her shizzles. I did. No, I said Lucasa said that the team My builder bad. is going to be taking the spot of blind pick. My bad. You're fired. <sighs> I don't know. Just, just something I should have said. Maybe want to wear a toupee when you say that. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> A, a dead mm. raccoon. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I like that video series. There's one for War Thunder. Have you seen those with Challenge Accepted? And he does like a ridiculous thing, like try to land an airplane on a on um, a carrier or like a bomb a player that's in the air. I have a I I've done it. Then somebody told me and said, "Okay, you're recording, right?" I said, "Yeah." All right. What I want you to do is I want you to land on top of my plane. Huh? And I looked over, what did he have? A PBY. And I had a little Falcon, a little P-40. So I just kind of went up there. And for about two or three seconds, I had no throttle, and he was carrying me. And then I, something <laughs> happened, and we just kind of went, we were like this. And then all of a sudden, we went, we, I slammed up and slammed right into his plane. It was so funny. He was like, oh, no. I was like, Sorry. <laughs> He I gotta went, play that more often. I, I asked him if it counted, and he said it did. So I have a successful landing on a PBY in the air. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, what I like about about War Thunder the most right now is the fun ways that I die. <laughs> Dude, some <laughs> like, of that shit is, like is trials amazing. HD. <laughs> some of that stuff is amazing. We are gonna go right into it, um, and I think we are done with that yes no um well the yeah, team middle was a pretty big thing um yeah so yeah anyway they, they got a whole list of things i think we touched everything but yeah i, I think the new player experience thing is the only thing we didn't touch upon so people that are looking to get into league of legends and we'd love to join you i, I don't mind playing with noobs i don't think obi might mind either as long as you don't play with him in ranked play he'll get mad <laughs> he'll rage quit <laughs> but i won't rage if you want but... I'll if rage. you want some, you just rage, period. <laughs> but if you want some wingmen, it, it, I think now will be a good time to uh, jump into League of Legends. It's better than any time. Because now, instead of having to play with a few free characters you get and then uh, ones that are in rotation that week, mm -hmm. every player that joins the game will have access to uh, certain champions right off the bat so they can get a full like a buffet-style sampler platter or something, and and really try out the different roles and, and see what, what kind of champions are out there. So it's kind of neat, and this is a good marketing tactic for them because they'll get you used to certain champions, and then when you do and you level up, you won't have access to them anymore because once you hit a certain level, um, you'll, you'll just have the regular rotation like everyone else does. Um, and this is the, the changes are supposedly on uh, patch 4.1 on League of Legends, but uh, it won't be turned on until a later date. Mm -hmm. Elusive. And did you just message me? I did. Um, it better not be midget porn. It. Dude, about little porn. people porn. Dude, come on. <laughs> he did it again. What's your problem, man? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have a problem with little people? I don't. I love little people. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm married to a little person. <laughs> and we have little Smurf children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only tall one, so I got to be careful not to step on them. <laughs> oh, my anyway, God. Anyway, I, I know we're running a oh. little uh, over. No, we're fine. We're, we're fine. Not, we're going to go through with some... We're going to go... <laughs> Sorry, I was... I, uh, that caught me off guard. He's got little Smurfs running around his house. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the opening for this episode, I think. Oh, man. Okay. 
All right, got it. So, so yeah, now the takeaway is now's a good time to try out League of Legends. <laughs> it Just is. Just bring a friend. Don't jump to it solo because the community is very caustic. That's the one thing I will say about the game. If you get offended easily, just meet everyone when you get up in the game and play with some friends, and then it's fun. <laughs> it is fun once you guys if you can get the gist of the game and kind of learn it up a little bit but what we are going to go through and um because we do have some um some stuff at the end that we need to read exactly but we are going to still go through the deals for cheap bastards we know that you guys are all cheap bastards because we are um and of course there's always things on steam of course last weekend saints row 4 was free to play on Steam. If you didn't play it, you lost out. Um, and it's 66% off um, last week. Um, this week, I don't have anything pulled up because I didn't think about it. But I still wanted to go over it. If you guys do want to see right here, right here on the... Oh, boy. Right here on the stream, right in front of... Uh, between uh, mine and uh, Yogi's camera, you guys can see www cheapshark.com that is something where you actually it's kind of like a uh it's kind of like isn't it kind of like a bundle thing to where you guys you can get some bundles and stuff like that for uh, a lot of different games and of close and, and, and some of the indie games as well that we're going to be talking about here in a second so no, guys, the cheap shark is like uh they're like a listing service for all the other sites that sell like good old games and humble bundle on steam and whatever mm. green games so they they basically you remember Price Watch back in the days, mm. or Price Scan, where sure. like it'll search or Google <laughs> or Google product search. Where it, basically, it'll just search all the other sites and see what deals everybody else has, is offering. Right. Okay, I got it. But um, it's there. It is. That's what it is. You guys can't. Go oh to, yeah. What? We got a good one in the chat. Read it out, man. Yeah, uh, Freeman Daddy, aka. Uh, Sean, he's uh, reminding us that uh, if you're on Xbox Live, which if you if you're cool, you are, <laughs> and on a 360, you get a uh, Tomb Raider: Guardian of the Light for free with games on go with gold. And I like free. I like I actually like that game. A lot of people gave it a uh, crap, but it's a good game. And free that's, that doesn't get any cheaper than that. That's what we want to. Say. I want to say this again. Free. So if you don't know what free means, it means you don't have to pay any money. Unless you start talking to people that I've been talking to lately, when they say we're gonna send you a free gift card, all you gotta do is give us one hundred dollars. Okay. Oh gosh, I hate those telemarketers. They've been I'm, doing that a lot. Basically, lately. I can, I'm I'm buying from you what I could have just went into Walmart or Meyer or Best Buy and done myself and said, okay, I need a gift card. Well, no, I want to pay a, you to send it to me. That's that's a, that's a public service announcement right there. If you get people that call you up and they say, hey, we want to give you a free gift card. And you ask them what the catch is. Like, nothing. We just ask you a few questions. And then the next thing you know, they're asking you for, like, your, your stool sample and your blood type. And oh, it's like, uh, how You're... much money you make. It's like, all right. What do you need this for? It's like, oh, it's just it's a few more questions. We're almost done. I promise. Oh, no. You don't explain what they, how the information can be used. I don't care if it's something casual. I mean, and the, if you're asking a lot of questions, that makes me uncomfortable. I, don't, just don't do it. If it makes you feel bad, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, get out of there. It's not worth it. And those are just thing as a free lunch. <laughs> exactly. Unless you're at my house. Or mine. That's <laughs> fine, too. Um, we do have <laughs> um, some of the deals for cheap bastards, of course. You guys do uh, can go to, of course, Steam. And you guys know how to use this. Just type in. Um, uh, you can go from games to under $10, $5, whatever you want to do. And, of course, you got all the free ones. Um, the, some of the free ones are some of the best games that I've ever played, believe it or not. Um, the One of the ones Yogi asked me to play it is Marvel Puzzle Quest Dark Rain. It's not a bad game, okay? <laughs> I can't believe I played it, but it's not a bad game. You guys need to try it. Um, it's dope, yo. It's it, dope. it is, it is. So there are always deals for us cheap bastards. You remember that... Um, that the stream FTP weekends, FT, I even said that wrong, FTP weekend and Sunday at midday. So make sure that you guys get what you guys want. The Steam, why did I say stream? Make sure you guys get what games you guys do want uh, for this week um, and if you guys want to get them. And always make sure that if you are on Steam, go to Greenlight, 
Steam Greenlight, and uh, try out the Armada Online, just because we do want to make sure that uh, we give that some good some good rep, some good some good focus. Uh, Yogi, what or, do we got uh, real quick? Um, do you want to do some of the indie watch stuff, or how 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 would you like to do that, sir? Yeah, real quick. Again, I, I want to stress that you know Armada Online, good people over there. You just mentioned it, but in our stream Steam Greenlight and the history of this game, it 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 started as a Dreamcast game. It's the same developers. They branched out on their own. It's Mark and Roger working on this as a labor of love. They have the alpha build available at eight, at uh, Armada Online dot com. Free to play. Go vote for uh, for it over at Steam Greenlight. Play it, give it a shot. It's, you know, let us know. Play with us. It's better when you play with friends. Definitely worth checking out. A lot of potential there, and they they've borrowed a lot of influences, a lot of ideas from different games. It's pretty cool. But as far as like the indie scene is, um, I'm excited. Uh, FTL Advanced, uh, Faster Than Light Advanced is coming mm-hmm. out soon. I like to say bye, bye to Sean Freeman. Daddy's le- leaving us. Got to get some sleep. Yeah, see, man, um, I will definitely check that out, and I'll give uh, everybody a link at the end um, for uh, for the the zombie cast. Thanks for showing up, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to get Sean on here in some future episodes. We yeah, definitely. <laughs> He's a cool dude. But uh, yeah, so for people that already own Faster Than the Light, you uh, soon. And then last I checked on the website. Um, they said that maybe, I think they said February, March. So I don't know what the exact ETA on that is, but I'm keeping my eye on that. Um, so that, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. It's gonna add new classes, new scenarios, new weapons, new ships, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. And that game already has tons of replay value. So um, what else is on the radar? I played some more of that Delver actually, a little bit more. Uh, Delver is looking promising. It's it's got that if you like Minecraft, but you always wondered like why can't this be more action oriented or adventure oriented? Mm-hmm. Delver is the game like it cuts all the BS out and just goes straight to the point. Fight enemies, loot, craft stuff, repeat. You know, and it's you know I like I like that better. Where um because I don't care about building a house or that stuff. And if I want to do that, you know that's cool. It's there. I have Minecraft, but sometimes I just want to go exp- exploring. And go into the little survival rage. Um, the only thing in Dover, I hope that they do in- incorporate a multiplayer aspect because the game is great. It's, it's it's so much fun. It'll be so much more fun with with a, if you could party up with people. Um, what else do I? That's on the indie watch. We talked about Broken Age. That I keep hearing good things about that, so I'm I'm kind of putting that on my watch list. We mentioned Sanctum. I think that's a, uh, Sanctum Two. I think that's an indie game as well. Um, there's some other stuff coming out as well. I've heard of so much stuff. Uh, the indie scene is definitely bustling. Like right now, I'm more excited about the indie games than anything else. Is there, are there any mm-hmm. indie games on your radar? Um, Obi? I don't really have any. Um, on my radar right now, just to do the fact that I'm I'm playing so many. Uh, of course, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're all freaking. But of course, to uh, <laughs> and I would ju- I would kind of classify the the mech. Uh, the Warrior Online and Indie Game, just because it's not really big or, you know, a name brand name. Um, but some of those, like I'm out online, uh, Mech Warrior, you know, all that, some of those few games that I am playing, I'm I'm trying to get a hang of them. It's just so much that we're, I mean, you are doing right now to where we're barely having time for our, ourselves, let alone, <laughs> let alone more games. So, yeah. Digging ourselves out of the trenches. Yeah, we really are. Um, at the end of every show, guys, we do like to make sure, um, unfortunately, we ran a little bit long today, which was fine with me. I loved it. had fun. Um, and then we're going to – we're actually probably going to hit that free ball in section up here. Uh, maybe next maybe Maybe next, maybe next week. Yeah, um, I think next episode we're probably yeah. either going to lean towards doing some reminiscing. Mm-hmm. Depending who's on the show, who joins us, we'll probably reminisce about – the yesteryears of gaming, I, I kind of want to talk about the Dreamcast some more and Sega and see uh, how you feel about it. Mm. Uh, see if you want the Sega and Nintendo side. <laughs> <laughs> that was another thing I was thinking about too uh, that we could talk about for free balling, but that was one of the big ones. Or maybe we'll revisit our rant about how Nintendo needs to get 
into the future time and get out, stop get get their head out of the eighties and nineties. I don't like. I really don't think that it's gonna happen anytime soon. Was well, this funny because you know Nintendo? They started off as a trading card company, and it's like they're so conservative. It kind of shows. Is it conservative? They either conservative or really stubborn. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> and, and, and it can't be a Japanese thing because I've seen progressive Japanese companies. I know that's a thing. It's not mutually exclusive, so right. I don't know. Well, we do want to let you guys do know. Wow, that was a whole bunch of dudes. We do would like to let <laughs> you know what we horseplay would like to let you know. It is official, guys. Horseplay is coming to Talk Shoe and Stitcher. That is a big advancement for us, and thanks to. My man over there, Yogi Zilla, he made it happen. You guys, we do want you to expect the iPod, the 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 audio podcast to be live within a couple, two to three weeks. It's uh, it all depends on what Stitcher, uh, what they're uh, gonna approve us for. So uh, we do want to give a special thanks to Sean uh, Friedman Daddy uh, of Zombie Cast for the information, um, any of the information that he's given us here today. Uh, any of the music that you guys have seen, it is from Technoax.com um, or Technoax on YouTube. Um, we also want to thank Knuckleballer, uh, well, for his information. And in the future, you guys will be hearing some sound effects and all that good stuff. If you guys do want to do some, get some sound effects or a soundboard, freesound.org, you can get all your free sound effects for free. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Humblebundle.com store. If you guys do uh, are, are a regular customer on Humble Bundle, like my friend over there is, ten um, percent of all the proceeds that go to the store go to charity, and that is confirmed. We we have checked that out twice and twice again. Um, all the highlights, horseplay highlights for this episode and any other episode will be available on Obi One X Two, this channel right here, and Yogi Zilla. Um, both YouTube and Twitch, and then of course the Stitcher uh, with the the audio files that we're going to be getting up here within the next couple weeks. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Making some edits. Okay, you're messing me up. What I want you guys to do is uh, the next thing I do uh, is uh, we'll check out some of our friends at Gaming One Hundred uh, Gaming History One Hundred One Sega Nerds. R9 Cast, Knuckleballer Radio, Zombie Cast, and B Team Podcast all. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. And B Team Podcast on the AllGames.com network. And Stitcher, of course. Knuckle. Um, the gaming community has really responded positively to all the articles that. Uh, that Yogi's Gaming Clan Leadership Series. <laughs> I got it backwards. I was getting ready to say leadership series, Yogi Gaming, something like that. <laughs> we really want to appreciate all the positive and just feedback in general that you guys are giving us on some of the stuff that we're just trying to accomplish with us. And like I said, above Yogi's head, you guys can see um, his 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 blog. He does do a vlog too, actually, um, which is yogi dot dot me. And dual passion. Did I read it wrong? Yep, dual, dual passion dual line. Pass. Dual, dual pass, pass online. It's dual pass online. Dot wordpress. Dot com. I think that's, I think we got it that time. Oh, you know, to make it easy, dual pass online. Dot com. Dual pass on kind. Of, uh, anyway, to be that's honest, just... I don't know if I'm gonna keep the domains either because I got so many other sites and I'm lazy. Good. Hey, lazy's good, man. I'm lazy too. <laughs> Woot! We're done! Yay! Yes, we, we're, we're done. We're, and again, uh, just like one more shout out again to everyone that joined us tonight and made things even that much more fun. Tim Curtis up in there. Um, we're not a stitcher yet, but we, we're working on that. T. So. Kurt. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> but Sean, we, Sean uh, aka Freeman mm. Daddy, who just left us. Fang. Uh, Lukasha, who's a regular here. Uh, Clusterfuck. Clusterfuck's being a little quiet tonight. Um, did we miss anyone? If we missed anyone... Oh, and Behemoth, who... Uh, who yeah, he had to check out after, early. 
Yeah, Behemoth checked out early, but you know he he was happy after he saw your your little happy dance, your little bowling thing and bobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we really do want to appreciate you guys watching, sticking out with us, giving us something to talk about. We, I really love to do this, and I know Go Yi does too. I know Yogi does love to talk about this too. If you guys aren't following, just one more time, make sure you guys hit us up on Twitter, on YouTube, on our perspective YouTube's pages. Make sure you do guys do check out twitch.tv forward slash yogizilla to check out his streams. And then if you guys are on Facebook, I do have a fan page right back here. Uh, it's Facebook, and then it's going to be Obi-Wan-X2 hyphen fans, and you guys will check us out. And it's a picture of a fire kitty from WoW, so you guys should be able to get to me. But we really appreciate you watching. Say bye, Yogi. Bye, Yogi. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>